Yo, what's happening, everyone? This is a G Money Bowen here, live over on uh, YouTube uh, once again. And I'm uh, gonna t today play some more uh, LA, no LA Noir. Uh, continuing my playthrough session from yesterday. Uh, by the way, happy Easter to everyone out there. I hope you all having a you know having a good uh, Easter day. If you're spending with family, you know, I hope you have a good one, or you're having a good one, like, having a good one. But if you're not, I hope your Easter is still gonna, is still gonna be, you know, good at least, so. Uh, no Easter for me, uh, because, uh, we're gonna be having our own, uh, little Easter get-together on a, uh, different date, a little bit later on. Also, I'm fixing that in the moment here, because I don't know why it I don't know why LA Noir keeps uh, shortening the resolution for whatever reason. It keeps going into the Windows mode. I don't know why it keeps doing it. It's annoying. Hey. Don't worry. Back to now, I'm not sure if I'm getting close to finishing this game, to be honest. I'm not sure if I am. Because I've been. Cl it's been on. It's been quite of an adventure it has been so far. And I've been enjoying it so far though at least. Like, although there were some moments I didn't like, like some of the mechanical parts of it. Again, there was just some things about it that kind of bugged me, but it has been pretty good overall. And plus this game's only just gonna stay locked in. 38 frames anyway, so it doesn't really matter on the refresh rate. There's a reason for it, because I get because I don't think the game was meant to run at 60 frames, but again, some people say it runs fine even in 60 frames, but I have been running in at 30 frames per second. So far though, it has not been that much of a issue for me at least. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> that was so weird. A shooting at the 111 Club, 6232 Hollywood Boulevard. Sounds like a homicide scene. Two of the dead guys caught in the crossfire were carrying army surplus morphine. Get over there before homicide tramples all over the place. We already cleared that up. Judge in Pasadena <laughs> took the big sleep yesterday. He had a personal stash of 20 cigarettes. Mm. Appears we didn't. Get all of it. Well, gotta go. I think Gregory's had Break through the red light. Mm. Bet you never saw it. God damn it. We can't seem to put this morphine to sleep. A dead judge. It's not good. Everyone has their vices. Even you, Phelps. You really think I'm gonna so a dead ju so judge uh, overdose on uh, morphine. I said we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. That's not a good. Just you wait. Well, that's not a good start. Kick it off. The fact that a uh, judge has been uh, had overdose on the morphine. Parker and Green are going toe to toe for the top job. There's a change in the wind. About time. This wind will be like a tornado, Phelps. Parker's got a puritanical streak. You never know we'll get swept up in a thing like that. All units in the vicinity and any central unit. Citizen reports are 415 at 7th and Central. Units uh, are we're gonna let five. that. We're gonna let somebody take that dispatch call. Even though we could. Even though technically nobody does take it. Other than and the player has a chance to you know, act with it if they wanted to have like more on the. on the more on the patrol. But we're kind of focusing with the main quest here for the most part. If I wanted to, I could have probably taken on some few dispatch calls. But not this time. The 111 club. Homicide guys are already inside. Bukowski. Phelps. Back again. We're here about the morphine. Over by the bandstand. You can see what's left of the owner, Eddie McGoldrick. 26, former Marine. I know Eddie McGoldrick. He was a non-com in my old unit. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Cole. 
Waitress said he recently <coughs> came into some money and bought the club. Mm. Who are the other Vicks? Two musicians, Fiddleston and Bo. And get this, they used to be in a four-piece, but the trombone player and the drummer OD'd. Don't tell me. Lamont and Tyree? We've met the rest of the band. Now they're a no-piece. <laughs> Do you mind if we take a look around? Be my guest. You might want a word with the hostess, too. I'll keep her company until you're ready. All right. Let's check this guy out. Jeez. Just pumped a dozen rounds into him. Certainly sends a message. Uh, yeah. Quiet of a message, all right. Mm. Nothing. I don't think the cigarettes won't mean anything, but you never know. You never know what you might find. I got friends who work at the examiner. How about this? You bought for an Oh, yeah, they, uh. Match for the club. When you're ready to have a civil conversation, we can try again. Hmm, there's another one. In there's another body in there. We have to check. We have to check that in the moment. Find anything interesting? Well maintained, custom case. Someone cared for this instrument. Somebody did. What's that click? Yeah, what the? Yeah, there's two clicks. That was two. Ah! Deep trick. The case must have cost more than the trumpet. Uh, that was done by accident. <laughs> I didn't think that I didn't think that was a uh, the correct pattern. Follow up on the musician angle. The blue room. And then looks like we got a syringe. Kept the stash close at hand. I think I've seen it all. Yep. Nothing there. But they found the hidden stash, though. So. See anything over here? Nope. Okay, let's check this guy. Check his pockets first. Oh, it's another one. We have a new source, or is this coming from what's left in circulation? The other pocket. Nope. I want to check. Oh, okay. I guess I can't check his arm. Okay, now I can check his arm. Now I can check his arm. Mm, check his head. Ew, made a noise. It's like a kind of like a bone noise I just heard when moving his head around like that. Okay. Alright, so his body has been cleared. Let's check back here. Cigarettes. A dozen packs to a carton. A hundred cartons or more. Looks like a couple of months supply. Hmm, I wonder if that's a way to get the shipments around. Uh, looks like we got some firearms. I bought the M. These look brand new. Never fired. They haven't been degreased yet. We could check on the serial numbers. Is this guy hunting for bear? Look at these things. They're BARs. You get the odd guy who sneaks one of them home from the war. How did he get three of them? Army surplus morphine, army surplus weapons, army surplus valors. Sound familiar? 
We should get back to the station and check the details of what exactly was lifted from that ship. Yeah. Yeah, make sure I know what else. Make sure I know what else got, you know, glad when it was taken off that ship. Uh, we do have a body we need to check in the next room. The next room over. Need to identify him. And then see if he has anything on his coat. See if he has anything on him. Bad luck, Eddie. Okinawa couldn't kill you, but knowing the wrong people in this city. Ugh. Why is it making that noise? It's not like I'm aggressively turning his neck or anything. God damn. Hmm. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Even though I just said Happy Easter to you, not the, you know, not the long ago, but Happy Easter. I'm just detecting detecting crime in nineteen in the nineteen fifties style. All right. I got friends who work at the exam. All right. Uh, I think we could talk. I think we are ready to talk to this person now, the hostess of this club. Captain wants this one cleared up quick. Let me know how it goes with the dope. Ma'am, I'm Detective Phelps, administrative by squad. Welcome to the 111 Club, Detective. Feels like I've had half the LAPD in here today already. Okay. Also, the hostess arrives, 26. Any idea who did the shooting? No idea. It was my day off. If I had been here, honey, I'd be full of holes just like the others. Something tells me she's not telling the truth. She's the way out, she. Yeah, very doubtful. You want to level with me, miss, before we start taking an interest in you? This place has been on the slide for years. Eddie turns up, buys the club, then we start getting visits from tough guys. Next thing you know, we have the St. Valentine's Day massacre. Are you getting the picture? Mm. Okay, the knowledge of uh, Nick. Got it. Okay. Tell us about Eddie. Eddie didn't know a thing about running a nightclub. He came into some money and waltzed in and bought the place. The previous owner thought all his Christmases had come at once. Hmm. We don't have. We don't have anything. Don't have anything in terms of uh, dependent on her, or. Pin anything on her. Let's see though. Obviously. Wait a moment. Something. Hmm. I think she would be telling the truth because I don't mean. I like to say she is telling the truth, but again, I could be entirely wrong. Again, when it comes to reading people, trying to see if they're lying. Let's see. This how you usually. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think she would. I think she's telling the truth. Where do you think he got the money? My guess was that he's selling the sort of quality product that you don't need to advertise. Thank you for your help, ma'am. Eddie was in over his head, but he was a decent boss. Mm hmm. Go over this real quick. But I guess I don't think there's anything much. Never the same, are they? I don't think there's not much to this. Well, let's check on the case objective. See if there's any. If we're done. Yep, we're done here. Alright, we're moving on.
Oh, that bug is fixed now. I knew it wasn't safe around here anymore. You can drive. Do we know where we're going? We're going to the blue room. So where we go. Where we're going. Blue Jasmine. His mother would be proud of him catching all those criminals. This is a tasty burger. Back to this club again. Take a break, boys. We would like them to stay, Miss Lickman. We're making inquiries into the recent deaths of four musicians. Since when have the police cared about dead black men? Good point. We don't. What we care about is two tons of army surplus morphine showing up on the street. If you care about working in this town, you better give me something on Biddleston and Bow. Or their knucklehead buddies, Tyree and Lamont. And this is your idea of making inquiries on this tonsure? I've told you a thousand times without speaking that German gibberish at me, Elsa. Roy! How about you get a drink? While I see to this. Yeah, boy. Chill. Take your ass take your ass uh, to that bar. Will you sit down? Yes, yeah, swim. Why antagonize him, Elsa? You know what he's capable of. Ask your questions, head officer. We have work to do. People are dying of overdoses. If you know anything about it, you need to tell me. I can't help you. A lot of cats are into the thing. There's nothing special about your boys. Let's see, did I ask you about the... Damn it, stupid fucking phone. Why'd you do that? Sorry, my bad. You can do this the easy way with me. Or I can call my partner back over. I can assure you he's a lot less sensitive. You think your threats frighten me? Black man don't supply nothing. You think there's a black man in this town holding on to two tons of morphine? He'd be dead in a minute. White man supplies, black man buys. Mm. My partner mentioned a couple of names. You recognize them? I have no idea what you're talking about. Why are you... The only way you're going to get rid of me is to give me an answer. I knew Cornell. We worked together a few years ago. He loved the music, but the music didn't love him. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Yeah. It means that he just wasn't that good. He was a sad, lonely cat. Boys, take five minutes, please. I need to have a private word with the officer. Mm-hmm. Why do you ask people to risk talking about the subject they could have been jailed? Drugs are against the law, Elsa. Are you so full of courage you have never felt the shame? This is getting us nowhere. Do you think you'll win your war against narcotics? It's not my war. It's against the law. My job is to prosecute the laws of this city. Do you think you can stop people from needing drugs, detective? I'm asking the questions here. Then why do you come to me with your stupid questions? You know who controls the drugs in this city. It's not enough to just survive, Elsa. You have to try and make the world a better place. Brave words and very noble. Words are just words, Cornelius. Mm -hmm. He's right. We need to pay a visit to the mixer. Cohen? Do you know where to find him? This time of day? You'll find him holding court at the Macambo. He can wait. There's something I need to be sure of. Give me till tomorrow morning. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, partner. 
Hmm. Are we gonna are we gonna uh, follow her? So that's what it looks like. <sighs> yep. We are following her. We're gonna see where she goes. See what she's really up to. Cause uh, it seems like she's been dodging most of our questions, even though she's trying to let us know that they're up you know, who, that they know, that they think they, that we know who's, you know, controlling the supplies. But she, but she knows something. Yeah, we got a different car this time, too. Okay, she's making up. Okay, she's going left. Where are you taking us, eh? Where to are you sit- are you dra driving us to? Okay. Hear music inside. Looks like some sort of hotel establishment. I get the feeling I'm about to walk in on something, or about to have something about to happen. Hmm. Nope, that's my partner. Boy. Okay. Okay. LAPD, we're looking for Mayor Cohen. I believe he has lunch here. There's not going to be any trouble, is there? Which table? Number three, if you'll follow me. Like, I, he's like, it, I didn't give me no trouble. And then, what is like, which table is he at? That cherry pie was delicious. LAPD, we have some questions. Hi, regarding... Mickey. How's it hanging? Fine. Just fine, Roy. I see you brought Iga Beaver along. Hope he's not going to put the shakes on me again. Cole Phelps, Mickey Cohen. Good afternoon. <laughs> he has manners. Aren't you a little green for this, kid? Me, Johnny Stompanato, Cole. He has the biggest schlong in Hollywood and the smallest gun. Or maybe that's the other way around. I can never quite remember. <laughs> funny guy, Roy. You're a funny guy, Roy. I always said what a funny guy Roy is. And how much fun it would be to get together with him sometime. Poor Johnny. He's the dark, sensitive type. He's a serviceman too, Cole. Johnny was in Okinawa. You were in the crotch? Sixth Marines. The lieutenant who won the Silver Star up on Sugarloaf. I've heard of you. Something like that. All right, have we finished flirting? You got something to discuss, Roy? Or are you going to stand around beating the meat while my lunch gets cold? We have some questions. Do I need my lawyer? Let's see. Your brother-in-law, Lenny Finkelstein, was selling stolen morphine. 
He had one third of the shipment. Old news, kid. I don't know anything about what Lenny was up to. I doubt that one. So I'm supposed to believe that you don't know what happened to the rest of the shipment. Lenny, God rest his soul, was a moron. He was family, though, and I haven't made a beef about that, so count yourself lucky, kid. Uh -huh. H is a filthy habit. I don't condone it. Mm -hmm. The simple solution would be to have all the dope fiends put down. So you don't know where he got the morphine. Kid, ask a question you might get an answer to. He sounds pretty ain't. Yeah, he's pretty fucking pissed off about that one. We believe there's a link between a group of Marines and the morphine stolen from the SS Cool Ridge. One of those Marines was shot to death in a club last night. I wouldn't know anything about that. Why? I'm very doubt that. So you haven't heard anything about what happened at the 111 Club? What can I say, kid? I'm shocked that in the land of opportunity, Uncle Sam's finest feel the need to resort to crime. It's a dangerous business. I can attest to that. I'd recommend they get out of the life. Quickly. Mm -hmm. A few Negroes saying goodbye on the sidewalk will never make the papers, Mickey. But we had a judge in Pasadena say adios the other day. Prominent white people popping their clogs makes everyone nervous. You know dope has never been my thing, Roy. It's always been for Schmendricks, like uh, Jack D and Jimmy Utley. But uh, I'll ask around and I'll get back to you. Hey, you boys want some lunch? How about a drink? We'll take a rain check on that. Come on, Cole, we're leaving. We have to cut that dope. It looks bad with people dying. We have to get the rest of it. There's no way of watering down the stuff in those little packages. We have to put the squeeze on those guys and get the rest of it. They don't seem the type to frighten that easy. We'll see. Hmm. Hey, what's going on? Oh, that fucking oh, rat stoker has gone public about Brenda. Who is Brenda? Yeah, Brenda is LA's most famous madam. Everyone knows it? Of course everyone knows. Brenda pays her way. Are we cops or a collection agency? Ors have been around since the Bible. Our job is to keep a it bullet off bullet. the street so Joe Citizen and his wife can stroll around unmolested. Then we should change the law. Are you out of your mind? Every politician in America is against prostitution. Except when they're using them. So mm -hmm. where does Stoker come in? He objects to the LAPD and the administration taking its cut. Is everyone in on this? Yeah, and that's the problem. From a little acorn does a large tree grow. He could bring the whole thing crashing down on us. Oh, well, that's nice. <clears throat> that's terrific. Aren't you supposed to be working the... Sir, do you know which robbery detectives are working the army surplus theft from the Cool Ridge? Caldwell and McManus. I saw Caldwell in the squad room not long ago if you want to speak to him. Thank you, sir. We'll do that. This way. All right, why you either way? Since you seem to be wanted to take in charge, one of it you want to take in charge and watch. Harry, you got a minute? Sure, call it any time. You've been working the docks robbery on the SS Cool Ridge. Yeah, that's right. So how do you see it? Inside job. Either the guys working the wharves or some of the guys on the ship. What else was taken apart from the morphine? Case of BARs. Case of Thompsons. Afraid of Alice Mokes. Homicide just recovered three BARs and a mountain of cigarettes at a shooting at the 111 Club. No kidding. I better get over there. Do you have a copy of the manifest? Yeah. <clears throat> Here it is. So, how do we Arthur connect the docks robbery to the mess at the 111 Club? Do you think the white boys get any on the side? Hmm. Those white boys get any on the side? Half a million surrets loose on the streets of LA. I gave this is the crate we back. recovered. I said, I'll stare and love him more. Oops. Here's our backroom arsenal from the 111 Club. I want enough make to arm three companies. You know you'd make it if you could get that gas. Some of these guys are from my old unit. They must have finally shipped home. Kelso, Sheldon. But Goldrick. The Goldrick was on the boat? Sure, we checked him out. Goldrick bought the 111 Club, Harry. His brains are all over the bar. Looks like whoever stole the dope is getting muscled. By whom? Dragner or Cohen. They control the hop. Mm-hmm. Detectives, KGPL's going crazy. Shots fired at 1384 North Bronson. Some guy with an automatic spraying a Hollywood bus. They want uh. every car. Go! 
No oh boy. Nope. Looks like we're gonna have a. Looks like we're gonna have a crime to stop. That's uh. Looks like things are gonna get pretty uh, hairy from here. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to stop him with one round. Come on, boy. How well did you know the owner? Goldrick? Well enough. He was in my unit. That's some cruel irony. You survive the war, then get blown to pieces back home. It happens more than you'd think. Young guys trying to adjust <clears throat> to normal life, getting mixed up in the wrong crowds. The kid had just bought a nightclub. I'd say he got mixed up in the right crowds. Until someone filled him full of holes. You don't come into that kind of money that quickly without pissing a few people off. Especially, especially maf mafiosos. Got enough firepower up there. him because that is a bar that thing sh that thing can sh that thing shreds LAPD drop the gun now got his ass Well, this has been one hell of a uh, aftermath. All right, let's check the body. Why did you do it? number and restaurant table hmm check and make sure he doesn't have any unique markings on his arms or, in, or if he has anything in his hand nope nothing Check the weapon, the bar. It's one of the BARs. Yep, one of the BARs indeed. I know that guy. Felix Alvaro. He's one of the guys from the ship. His name was on the manifest. Looks like McGoldrick wasn't the only one to get a message. Hey, Alvaro. Hey, Lieutenant. He's just a plain detective now, Chico. Who's the jughead? It's my partner, Roy Earl. We just want to find out what happened. 
What happened is that someone took a shot at my bus. And then cops turn up and start treating me like I'm some sort of pachuco punk. My people have been in California for over 300 years. Very fucking admirable, Felix. Mm-hmm. Now, we need to ask some questions. You hear anything about the big heist on the Cool Ridge? Yeah, I heard about it. So what happened? Not much. Uh, the cops came and interviewed me and all the other guys on the ship. Hmm. I was yeah. down at the 111 Club this morning, waiting for the medical examiner to scrape Eddie McGoldrick's brains off the bar. You want to tell me anything about that? I heard that Eddie came into some money. Hmm. Too bad he didn't keep a low profile. It's a tough break to get through Okinawa and then have to buy it back home. Motive for the shooting. Who's shooting at you, Felix? How the fuck do I know? Mm hmm. Yeah. The dead guy on the roof works for Mickey Cohen. Why would Cohen want you dead? Man, I don't know anything about Mickey Cohen or, or any of those gangsters. Fucking don't lie, dude. We got the book. Your name was in the sniper's notebook. Level with me, Felix. Yeah, come on. Cohen thinks because we were on the boat, we have the morphine. Mm hmm. Courtney's meeting those guys to sort it out. Courtney Sheldon? Yeah. You remember Sheldon, don't you, Cole? Mm hmm. Be in touch, Felix. You heard that Jack is in LA? I saw his name on the manifest. He's been here a couple of months. Sure glad to see you got over your wound, Lieutenant. I mean, Detective. Mm. All right. I'm pretty cool customer. He's been under fire before. You buying a story? Not for a minute. You all seem to be standing around. Shouldn't you be working? Oops. Hold up. There's a. Hold up, we gotta go over here. Since uh, we need to get some more information. Phelps, bad 1247. Phelps! How could I help, Detective? I need an address on a Jack Kelso. Just a second. Thank you. Well, thank, thank you. Now we need to go. We need to go there. So, what's going on over there? Officer Kelso. I don't know why I'm driving. I don't know why I'm driving, but you know what? I'll drive. I'll, 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 I'll go easy on you, boy. Brace him and drag him downtown work. He's a tough customer. Yeah, boy. We gotta talk, we gotta confront this man anyway. We need to we, we need information from him to see what he knows. A lot of uh, a lot of Phil Cohen's uh, marine buddies are coming back up or starting to show starting to surface one by one. And this whole army of morphine uh Incident is sudden connected with those also new newspaper stories too. Okay. Hello, Jack. This is Detective Roy Earl. Hello, Cole. We would like a word. Would you like to come inside? Actually, we'd prefer if you come downtown with us. Do you mind? Do I have any choice? No. You don't. Are you going to tell me what this is all about? It would be better for all of us if we discussed it at the station. Bad move, Cole. <laughs> Bad move. How have you been, Jack? Cut the crap. You pick me up in front of my apartment like a common criminal and then expect small talk? Fuck you. Alright, fair enough.
Fair enough, I get you angry. Do you know that there's a gang war going on in LA trying to recover that stolen morphine? That has nothing to do with me. Uh, why are you getting so offensive, though? I'm sure it would be gripping to hear more of your life story, boys, but the truth is, I don't give a fuck. You were on the boat, Kelso. What happened? Do you really think a bunch of Marines could muscle in on the dope rackets in this town? Between the vice squad and the mob, I hear it's pretty sewn up. You better watch your mouth. Mm hmm Did you know that Eddie McGoldrick recently came into money and bought a nightclub? No, I didn't know that. Mm hmm And you didn't know that some mobsters blew his brains out last night? No, I didn't. Okay. And then I'm stolen from, from the college. You heard the crate of VARs went missing? No, I didn't. Hmm. Yeah, he sounds... The way I sound, he says no gen he sound genuine. I saw Felix tomorrow today. Good. How was he? A little pale. One of Mickey Cohen's goons had emptied about 60 VAR rounds into the bus he was driving. A public bus in the middle of Hollywood. Are you going to tell me what's going on? Or do more innocent people have to die? Yeah, and what's in it for you, Cole? Newspapers? More glory? Another promotion, another medal at the expense of men who fought for their country. Count me out. All right, I'm still, gr what still holding a grudge about that. From the Blue Ridge Jack. What I know is that on three separate occasions you would have been dead if it weren't for me. Okay. I don't know anything about the robbery. People are dying because morphine, intended to help servicemen, is being used on the street. Now we have guys from our old unit. Being killed by mobsters. We can put two and two together, Jack. Gratitude isn't a concept that has much effect mm. on you, is it, Cole? Answer the question, Jack. Yeah. Let's get this over with. I was interviewed when the robbery took place. I don't have anything further to add. Easter tacos, yum. Just want information. Yum. Bullshit, Cole. Did you seriously believe that dragging me down here would get me to give up my own guys? You call yourself a Marine? Trying to make a name for yourself with this shit heel? Look at this chump with his $200 suit and $2,000 car. Mm. The tough guy act is really impressive. I like you, Jack. I'd like to make you for this. I really would. I'm going to be working on it and keeping an eye on you. Mm -hmm. You can go now. Shooting Robert Steiner, 6780 West Sunset Boulevard. The victim is a Chris Majewski. Chris Majewski. Another name from the manifest? I'm gonna pause this real quick, so... I'm gonna pause this real quick, so be right back.
I'm back, people. Sorry about that. How many more friends of yours are gonna get plugged today? Too many, <clears throat> too many marine buddies of his is getting is getting plugged today. Talk about tension. That was like being trapped in an elevator with a married couple who can't decide whether they love each other or hate each other. We go back a long way. You went too easy on him. Next time, you leave it to me. I know how to handle that smug son of a bitch. You don't. Jack will never give up his own men. Ooh, that was smooth. That was a smooth, uh, dry, smooth driving. He just walked up and shot the man. Oh. Two of them officers. They went that way. Go on, get after him. Step on it, huh? Just give me a little closer. Here, no. clear this asshole off the road. Keep it steady, and I'll try to bust his tires. Getting close. Steer him off the tar. I can't hit a target that isn't there, Phelps. Well, excuse me, but this guy's the guy's driving, he's driving a little, a little bit better than the last few people. I try to knock off the. Fast he runs on bare rims. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. Jesus, he's losing control. Jesus Christ. The Shot from here, Cole. Yeah, go quiet. Open fire. Give it up. Give it up. Report you're on. You're on. You're on OS, scumbag. Hmm. Well, now something. High speed chase, and then we went out to a gunfight. Now, time to investigate the. Time to investigate the bot. These two. Check the pockets of these guys. See what what we have. Oh, manifesto. LAPD file. We have a traitor in our midst. All of the names on the list have a hit team assigned to them. Uh, we got a crooked cop. We got a quick we got a crooked cop amongst amongst us. Uh, this is a... Cohen is meeting with Sheldon tonight. Okay. Check uh check his arm. Usually there'd be again some unique markings or anything, but most of the time there's nothing. But you gotta be fit. you gotta be a detective. You gotta check every little thing. Might not seem like it may be that important, but it might come up later. Okay. We need to get to those guys fast, otherwise there'll be no case. And then a bar. And then a BAI. Oh, look, another newspaper one. Actually, this is a good time, actually. We'll, we, we'll actually go for the store. Look like for this cutscene. Damage limitation. We can't allow that strumpet friend Allen to bring down the whole administration. We've got to put a lid on the press. Can someone talk to Harry over at the Times? It's too late. The Times would look ridiculous if we dropped the story now. Who is this Stoker? Stoker's a lily white. Nothing that will fix this in the short term. My law and order credentials are disappearing as we speak. Can we get Brenda to leave town? Yes, we can, but she won't go quietly. Brenda has extensive records. Can she at least lay low? That's already been taken care of. Mm. Claire? District Attorney? Who is this guy? That's Roy. What does he want, Coral? Name's Roy Earl. Detective. Administrative Vice. 
Aren't you one of the clowns that got us into this mess? Oh, I think that the orders regarding Brenda come down, not up, Mayor. I have a human interest story. It involves a certain LAPD cop, a hero from the war, who has let his beautiful wife and kids down, who has betrayed America for a German junkie whore, who has abandoned his pledge to the LAPD and his commitment to the public, we all serve. Could be mm. all over the papers by tomorrow, and you could be off the hook. Mm. So what do you want in return, Roy? Fingering a fellow officer. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> okay, that's a little weird. That's a little suspect of why they are. Mm. Mm -mm. So good. I'm sorry, guys, just gonna be close for a moment. Mm. So good. <sighs> That's right. Mm. That was some good tacos. About to fill me up, actually. Interesting boy it was in that newspaper story. <clears throat> Check the car and see if there's anything in here. Or oh, not. Nope. Nothing of interest. Okay. Better than that. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Fine. Where are we headed? Hmm. There's something back at the po police station. Let's go back to the police station. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna cross that. Taking out all the guys from the ship. Why? How does that get them the dough? They obviously don't know who has the morphine, and they're waiting for someone to crack. Yeah, I'm waiting to see if anyone's gonna it's gonna fess up. Now some sort of strips off me at the grand jury. Cases thrown out. Now the DA wants my head. Mmm, there's nothing here for us actually. I guess when we come back here later. You know the way, you can drive. Where are we going? Uh, we will go to the Chinese uh, theater. That's where we're going. Now, boy, I'm even more suspect of you. I'm more, I'm more suspect of you even more now. Considering now you uh, committed some scandal by getting a certain cop, you know, phone underneath the, the bus. Uh oh. Oh shit. I thought that was all caught for a moment, but no. Get in close and steer him off the tar. Try for the tires. Keep your foot down. Whoa, Jesus. That was a really quick sharp turn that guy, this guy just made. Hey, get back here. It's no good. We need to get closer. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. I can't take the shot from here, Cole. Well, yo, why is he shot, buddy? Asshole off the road. I can't hit a target that isn't there, Phelps. Now oh, there you go. There goes his tire. LAPD, put your hands in the air. They 
They try to, they try to pull some funny business on us. Check the evidence that's been left behind at least. Oh, or not. Nothing. You're, a real ass boy, you know that? You're behind the wheel. All right, where to? That was kind of random that way. And I'm random person just say, You're a real ass. Oh, you know, land. Sir, that was really close. My boy, you got way too close to us, man. You got way too close for comfort there. Uh, you almost uh, scratched the car. Jesus, another shootout. It's another damn shootout, man. Couple of mobs, couple of mobs is inside. Posing. Suspects are down. All right, let's see. Let's see. Oh, yes. Oh, you're the first. Tell Courtney. Bad, bad luck. <coughs> I mean, we tried, but it was worth a try. Uh huh. Nope, oh, now he died. God. Okay, what do we have here? Oh. Polar Bear Ice Company. Really did it. Wonder whether it was worth it. Most people never get the chance to be rich. Wouldn't you risk it? Okay. No unique markings on this guy. Okay. Only thing that was uh guy was that po is the uh is the polar express. But let's check the list. Check the west around here. Let's see. Even his print, and he still confessed. Okay, check this guy out. What you have in your pocket? It's another one. Looks like Sheldon is bringing his own fire team with him. Looks like it. Right, it's just nothing in here. Any unique markings on this guy? Nope. Nope. Check the left. Check the left arm. Nope. I didn't see anything there. Even at a quick glance. Okay. Juicy Beckett, Goldrick, Driscoll. These are good guys. Wrapped up in this thing. Not everyone has your unwavering restraint in the face of temptation, Cole. Guess not. Cole seems like he's like the. Hey, hope we have no trouble. Can you drive to this one? Where Go. are we going? To the meeting place. Got a bad feeling this shit's gonna go down. It. Something else is gonna go. Is gonna go down to that place. Ugh. This isn't looking good. 
I feel like the fat kid at the back of a race. You sure it's Cohen making the hits? All fingers point his way. Your buddies are in way over their heads. Being a Marine doesn't mean shit out here. All right. Any more shoot? Are we gonna have another shootout? Or is it just gonna be calm for a moment? Oh, Jesus. Keep moving, I'll cover you. On the roof, Cole, nail him. Find some cover. Clear me some space here. Somebody's up on that. Somebody up on that cat one. Making a run for it after them. Nope. I'm wide open here. Stay in cover. Suspects are down in neutral. I'm gonna put out an APB on every one of the sons of bitches on that. Okay, APB on the car 11K. Car 11. Car 11 King. 11 K, go to Hollywood Station. A Courtney Sheldon is at Hollywood Station requesting an interview with Detective Cole Phelps. Well, I'll be damned. That's not correct protocol, 11 K. I'll take that as a roger. Car 11 King en route. Oh, looks like our butt. Looks like uh, Courtney. Looks like Courtney turned turned themselves had turned themselves to the police. Now, let's go. Excuse me, out of the way. Alright, Courtney Shelton, you tell. We need to get some answers here about this whole ordeal. The marine, the marine buddies are getting whacked one, are getting whacked one by one, almost immediately, simultaneously. Yes, we're coming through. We're just cutting through the red light because we're, you know, detectives. We're police. Even though we don't have our assignments on, but we're not. No need to get through a scene. Roy. Hey. In my office, if you please. Hey. I'm working a major case. I'm not close, Cap. It's gonna have to wait. Let Phelps do the interrogation. But Cap. No buts. This is more important. <sighs> well, boy, looks like you looks like you're going you're gonna be having a talk. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving Oh. I want to stop him with one attorney. No, detective. This is Dr. No, we've seen these guys now come into play. How do you do, sir? You stole the morphine from the Coolridge. You can't prove that. Let's see if I can try. And what is your relationship to Sheldon, sir? Tudor mentor. Mm -hmm. Mr. Sheldon is a medical student of mine. He has a very bright future. Oh, huh. that's nice to know. Good Too bad all of your war buddies won't get to see your graduation. I would have asked Beckett or Majewski or Driscoll about their involvement, but that's difficult, considering they're all dead. That leaves you, Sheldon. You can't yeah. blame their deaths on me, Phelps. Uh, I don't know. Fine, Courtney. The other guys aren't smart enough to attempt something like this. You either give it up, or I go after Jack for it. And how do you prove that, Cole? No, we got a lot of things. We got a lot of things here we can use. So we have a we can pick our choices on how we want to go about it. We know about your showdown with Cohen. We found notes on your guys. Cohen is hitting our old dude. He believes we have the morphine. I told him that we don't have it, and that's the truth. Uh-huh. Isn't it, Doc? Isn't it, Doctor? I believe, Mr. Sheldon. I think he's telling the truth, Detective. Okay. I uh, don't know about that, but okay. You were on the ship, Sheldon. Yes. That's correct. 
So you had opportunity. But it doesn't mean that I was involved. Stop fucking lying to me, bro. So you don't mind that the mob executed McGoldrick, Driscoll, and Beckett to get to you? I don't know why you're trying to pin this on me. Where's your proof? We got a lot of proof, actually. I mean, hell, we got even, uh, Beckett's, uh, you know, Beckett's, uh, confession. Beckett had a message for you before he died. Bad luck. It was worth a try. I feel bad about Beckett, Phelps. He was a hard charger. Those guys deserve more. I don't blame them for taking their shot. Mm -hmm. Have you finished, detective? I'm just getting started. You have an answer for everything, Courtney. Let's hope Jack does, because now I'm going after him. Is there anyone you're not prepared to sacrifice? Jack is not in this. He's a good guy. You were Jack, Courtney. I don't care who goes to jail. I just want the morphine off the street. Yeah. What do you offer, Nicole? <clears throat> don't be ridiculous, son. This man is gambling. What's your offer? Doctor! Good to see you. I'm conducting an investigation. Upstairs in my office, now. This man is about to confess. As of now, you're suspended from duty, pending a fitness review. What are you talking about? Oh, you shit. You heard the man, folks. Upstairs and face the music like the hero you were. Oh, great. Oh, that's great. This is some crooked, this is some crooked shit. Full, detective. Phelps, you're one of my favorite sons. You've broken this old man's heart. Sir, what is going on here? You're suspended, Phelps. Hand over your badge and gun. Don't keep him waiting. What is going on here? Your wife's attorney has pictures of you and the German. Compromising pictures, that one. She's pressing charges. You'll be formally charged with adultery. A criminal cannot serve as an LAPD officer, as I'm sure you're aware. I don't understand. How could you do it, lad? Your wife. Your children. Consorting with the enemy and a dope fiend at that. You're lucky the war is over. You'd be taken out and shot. The department doesn't need this kind of publicity, Phelps. Gee. Hand over the gun. Keep your head down until your board hearing. And I forbid you to make any comments to the press. Oh, then what else? Are you gonna silence me? What the hell were you thinking? Oh boy. Roy, fucking Roy, said something. He t he said some shit. Oh, that motherfucker. Oh, that motherfucker. Now, this is gonna get ugly. Marie, listen, Marie, I need to explain. Please leave, you're upsetting the girls. Let me see them, Marie, they're my daughters. Go to her, Cole. You have done enough damage here. Do you want me to call the police? For God's sake, Marie. Can't we at least talk? What is there to talk about? Do you love her? Do you? What were you thinking? What about our children? Can you imagine what this has been like for them? Go away, Cole. My father has hired an attorney and you will be hearing from him. I'd like to explain, Marie. I to tell you what I've been going through. What you've been going through. I have had reporters camped out on the front lawn all morning. I can't stand it, Cole. Oof. Oof. Well, that's fucking rough. Oh. Just what we need. Yeah, you don't have a gun on you anymore, ma'am. Something's not. Hmm. I wonder. There's got. I wonder if there's more to that. <clears throat> yeah, there's got to be more to that. Hmm. Just like that, huh? 
Unless for the wicked. <clears throat> well, that was pretty twisted. We got demoted. Now, now what? The gas man. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's inserting, he's installing something. Okay, everyone, keep it down. Cole Phelps joins the arson squad today. <laughs> How'd you like porking that German whore, Phelps? Phelps is up before a review board in December. Until then, he works the arson desk. End of story. Phelps. Yes, sir. I don't care what you did or didn't do, Phelps. I hear you're a good case man. But if you fuck up on my detail, I'll have you out of here before your feet touch the ground. Do we have an understanding? Yes, sir. Cap, we don't want a fucking rat like Phelps. Can it, tailed end. Phelps. I'm partnering you with Herschel Biggs. I don't do partners. You know that, Cap. You do now, Biggs. Oh, boy. Social basket cases like you two should get along just fine. Biggs will show you the ropes, Phelps. This is arson. There are no ropes. It shouldn't take long, then. Start with these two. House fires. 326 South Kenmore Avenue. Stefan's family was out of town when it happened. Then go to... 4414 Rosewood, family by the name of Sawyer. Fire brigade will be on location. Hmm. Are they suspicious, Captain? That's for you to find out, Detective. Now get out of here. Both of you. Ugh. Get out! Man, not a good, not a good way, good way to start off work. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to put them down in one round. Not a good way to start it. Are you drunk, mister? Or are you just cracked? Uh, cool. Got a stakeout down on second later tonight. That sucks, Did you see his lovely wife and children in the paper? What a rat! Whew. Man. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. Cole is just not... He's just not getting any, uh... No, he's not getting any luck. Considering that what is going, what is going on? I wonder. Again, why fucking set him up? That train. I knew he was bad eggs, but as soon as that newspaper, you know, cutscene played. Arson. We can do the small talk thing now. Talk baseball, exchange addresses. I don't think so. Feeling down, hot shot? Need a buddy? I'll look somewhere else. Whew. So this is how it's going to be, partner? I already told you, I don't do partners. I seen you on your first day, hero. Walking into the station, chest puffed out like a little kid at his confirmation. Hmm. There isn't much left. There never is if the job's done properly. You think it was deliberate? Nah, that's real pain in the face. They would have moved out the things they care about if this was insurance. There's no mileage in this. Hello, Mike. Hey, Hirsch. Cap this one. Yeah, Mike Brannigan, Cole Phelps. Uh. It's okay, Brannigan. His name may be dog shit, but there's none in his hand. No offense, Phelps. None taken. Do you have anything? The fire started late last night. Stefan's family at Catalina Island won some kind of competition. Looks like the mm. only thing they ever won in their lives. You can come home with us. I'd say they were pretty lucky, really. They don't have any insurance. Everything they own, including the house, is not a pile of rubble. Where are they sleeping? In the car. 
look at a whole block then burn down. Word is they're bulldozing this whole neighborhood to build new homes for GIs. Hmm. That's the man in the house. In the ruins. Teary lady is his wife. I'll we'll take a look around. Come on, folks. He's the dirty cop from the newspaper. Remember the dead lady they found under the train? I'm gonna have to take a look around for a moment before we interview the person. <clears throat> yeah, this place has gone up the flames. Check in here. Well, check whatever's in here. Oh. Oh. I doubt it. Dental. Okay. I don't think there's much. I don't think we, there's obviously nothing really left to look at in terms of ev evidence. Yeah, everything. Everything said we got burnt. Everything here is going to be relevant. Everything's been burnt to ash. Hello, sir. Mr. Stevens. Cole Phelps and Herschel Biggs, LAPD. I know it's a difficult time, but could we have a word? John Stevens. You were out of town. We won a prize. We had a wonderful time. Came home to this. Do you still have the tickets? Sure. It's a formality, but we'll need to speak to the issuing agent. Mm-hmm. Can you tell me any more about the prize that you won, Mr. Stephens? A weekend at Catalina Island. My uh, wife got this flyer in the mail from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Hmm. I'd like to say he's telling the truth, but let's see. Yeah. Did you enter any kind of competition? Uh, my wife filled in a flyer. Lady just rung up and told us we won. It's the first time I ever won anything. Yeah, that's so. Uh, give me a moment. But the redevelopment fund. Did they offer to buy you out? They're building new houses. They showed their money and most of the neighborhood just packed up and walked away. But I never bargained with them. Hmm. Everyone else is selling. But you're the holdout, aren't you? Yeah, I was the last. I thought I could hold out for a better price. Now my house is the center lot. Mm -hmm. Now you have to take the price regardless. Looks like it. I've got no choice. I have to put a roof over my family. Mm -hmm. That's all we need for the moment, Mr. Stephens. <clears throat> all right. Okay. Nope. Is that the cop who caught the guy that was pretending to be dead? Okay, well, I don't know why my I don't know why you my character just did that, but okay, cool. Building in a better California. Eh. Get. Can't imagine how old California nope, used to be sure. like well, compared to sure. now. I need information on the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Yes, Detective. Just checking. The fund is a semi-government agency established to speed up the building of GI homes. It has private investors as well as a government endowment. Huh. Do you have an address for them? There is one listed here. Corner of Beverly and Mariposa. Thanks. All right. Well, got a new location. Alright. 
we're gonna have we're gonna have 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 this guy drive us. Oof, that's rough to lose. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? Hold on. My trail before we leave. Let you know. Let's check around though. We still have more to investigate. Nope, I didn't mean to. Some security cop from the newspaper. Yeah. You know, uh, you don't even know what the what well, you don't even know what you don't even know what's the real truth. There ain't no fair. There ain't no affair if it's anything. If anything, we're trying to figure. If anything, trying to figure out, you know what the hell's Recently happening. Serviced. Could be something to go on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it is. Let's see. Okay. All right, now we can go. We got weed. We got some weed. Well, fine. I guess you, I, I guess I'll drive since because I know you're not. Have there been any other house fires? This is arson. We get an average of two a night. Does that answer your question? Uh, again, that sucks for Philip though because he didn't do anything that seems so scant. It doesn't seem like it was a scandal. But again, we don't know what what what, what he was doing behind closed doors there when he found when he was following her that day. But then again, Roy is also a, Roy, Roy is also a dirty little fucking uh, little rat. It's a little odd considering the fact that we found police what that they f we found uh, police records in one of those guys' uh, jackets. Makes you wonder if Roy is doing the pod by any means, just so that way it can move on. Things can move on. Co all current, all you know, convenient wise. Uh, but yeah, I got a feeling about I had a feeling about Roy, but I wasn't a hundred percent sure. But that newspaper kind of confirmed me, like, yeah, this guy, this guy, this guy is bad news. This fucking bad cop. <sighs> Hi, Albert. We've got this case. Hey, Biggs. We. You have a partner? What gives? This is Cole Phelps. You may have read about him. Oh, now I get it. Hello, Phelps. Welcome to the netherworld of arson. Mm -hmm. Family of four found dead in their beds. Heater explosion. Hey, another one? Looks that way. Insta Heat Model 70. Before you get excited, we get a couple of water heaters a month to go bang. Take a look around the yard. See what you can find. Yeah, hmm. It seems all coincidental. Wow. Hey there. You gonna stick it out, Cole? I'm gonna try, Mal. What have you got? Family by the name of Sawyer. Mother, father, and two kids. Jesus. All are dead from the looks of it. Damn. So I'd say carbon monoxide poisoning. The burns are superficial. Time of death. I'd say about midnight. Anything more exact will take some time to determine. Lynch tells me this has something to do with a faulty water heater. Could be. Could be. There's been a spate of problems with a particular brand. I've got another angle in mind. You care to elucidate, Detective? This is a murder and not an accident. Sharing information has helped us solve quite a few cases together. I need something concrete, Mal, before the department gets wind of it. I'm an arson for a reason. Mm-hmm. I feel sorry for your wife and kids, Phelps, not for you. No cause. But you're a good case, man. One of the best I've ever met. I'll help in any way I can. Thanks, Matt. I'd say that's firm but fair. 
Uh, at least he's a little bit more. He's a little bit more lean because he's care about the care about doing the job. Ugh, the head is just. How about the insurance companies write these incidents up as acts of God? That's just love. Two ki little kids, little kids, and then got caught up in the mix of all this mess. Check around the house to see if there's anything. Clock. I don't think the clock is gonna be anything substantial. If anything, we need to find something that does stick out though. Nope, can't interact with that. No, oh, they have a dog. They have a dog here. Hmm. Let's check on. It. Huh. It's another one. Doesn't give me anything to go on. Even though it doesn't matter, but still, it's interesting. That's the same book from the other one. Let's check out this clock to see if there's anything about it. Nope. Nothing significant about it. Fan. That got brown kibu. That went kibu. -y. That's a football. Check back here, see if there's anything. Nope. Mmm, don't see it over here. Let's check on this side. If I didn't do. Oh! Look at that! Another one. Hey Biggs! Is this significant? Regulator Val. Good find. Detectives? This is the next door neighbor. Detective Phelps, can you help? They were supposed to be going away. They won a trip somewhere. But little Henry got sick, so they had to cancel. Trip. What are the chances? Do you know who ran the company? Gulliver's Travels, up on Santa Monica Boulevard. Thanks. You've been a big help. Phelps, the guy across the street. I've seen him before. He likes fire. He likes fire. Hurry, you can still me. catch him. Oh. All right, buddy, you get back here. Don't stop, LAPD. You got an ID on your fire, buddy. Stop right there. This guy, you're not fucking. No, you get your ass back here, bitch. I'm not done with your ass. Get back here. Whew. What's your name? Herbert Chapman. So you like fires? Some. Watching them or setting them? I don't want any trouble. Turn out your pockets. Come on. What do you got? Secret. Okay. You're naughty, aren't you, Herbert? I keep myself to myself. Yeah, shouldn't have. Cigarette in the matchbox gives you a five or six minute delay. You want more time, you use a mosquito coil. Don't you, Herbert? You like this fire, Herbert? Hell no. I heard it over the fire radio. Sounded sweet. When you finish following your leads, come and see me at the fire station. I have a theory about this. Will do, Link. Take this guy in. We might want him for questioning later. You got it, Detective. Why has he got such a hard on for this case? If it is murder, it's almost impossible to prove. Fire doesn't leave much evidence. There's huh? no percentage in this. I think it's more than one case. Their house fire is cold. Accidents, heater fires, gas explosions. Yeah. There's got to be a reason. The reason is you want to be a star again. Forget it. Give it up. You'll feel better. 
There's something to this. I know it. What are you talking about? Arson is insurance. It's always been insurance. We still investigate the cases, Biggs. The people in this house are dead. Go soak your head, Phelps. This hero business is a full-time obsession with you. I'm gonna make this case. I'm gonna rub the department's nose in it. Help me, or stay out of my way. You got it? This guy, he's just not... He just does not want none of this. He's like, I don't want none of this shit, man. Anyway. We need to head to these locations. Again, the whole thing sucks for Cole because again, I don't think he didn't do anything. He didn't. He didn't do anything to deserve it. To deserve that. But boy, but boy, something tell. But boy, I had to go and say some things, and that gotten all, gotten the cops all looked up, especially the head, of, especially the head of the police. Tell that fat boy back in back in these times after the war, people America, some people did not take kindly of people, you know, having a theme for the Germans. If anything, the they still treat in a way even after the war, they, some of the German immigrants that made their way over here, they treat the Germans, you know, like enemies. At least I would think I would think so in in some cases, considering you know there are some sores that they're feeling. <clears throat> All right. Well, that's an interesting building. It's a very creepy cutout of the ocean people, you know, travel. Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. John Cunningham, can I help you, gentlemen? We have reason to believe that the Sawyer family of 4414 Rosewood Avenue recently won a competition run by your company. Yes, I remember them. They called it to cancel at the last minute. One of the kids was sick. Very unfortunate. Do you mind if I take a look at that? The Sawyer family. Rosewood Avenue. Mm. That was a netto. That was a netto one. Mm. Hmm. Shit, I forgot what was the other family. Stefan. Stefan on this list. No. Oh, yes. Oh, wait a minute. Is that the Steffens? Here they are. Steffens. Alrighty. Tell us about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. There's not much to tell. They run a promotion. Our promotions mailing list covers half of LA. Okay. So <clears throat> they are not a government agency? <laughs> I don't believe so. Government organizations don't usually get involved in promotions. Mm -hmm. I'm told the tickets were a prize. Yes, they were. We do a lot of these prizes. Look, there are hundreds of these promotions running at any one time. If you're the lucky guy, you get your name pulled out of a hat. And 
Hmm. While the Sawyer family were supposed to be at Catalina Island, their house burnt down. You consider them lucky? Christ. I'm sorry to hear that. Can you tell me who offered the prize won by the Sawyer family? Yep. Give us a name. Sure. Look, there's supposed to be some sort of supervised draw with hundreds of tickets. But the reality is the Suburban Redevelopment Fund calls me every couple of weeks and tells me exactly who has won. Okay. Thanks for your help. Oh, no problem. Wish I could do something for that family. You could put round the hat. A few bucks would really help them now. I suppose so. Good. I'll put you down for 50. I could tell you were Samaritan the minute I walked in the 50? door. 50? Are you? Good man, Cunningham. You're all right. Yeah, I'm great. Poorer, but... Nah. Great. He's like... Nice. That's... Fucking grand. <clears throat> you know the way. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? Yep, you're driving. Let me guess. You want to check out the suburban address? Yep. Great partners must think alike, Herbert. Listen, we're, being, we're stuck being partners, whether you like it or not. <clears throat> Hello. This is supposed to be the registered offices of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. This is an Elysian housing development, Mac. So Elysian is an investor in the Redevelopment Fund. Looks that way. Are we done here, Mac? I've got work to do. Sure, buddy. Thanks for your help. Elysian are investors in the Suburban Redevelopment. So what? If you think I'm putting my pension on the line and harassing Leland Monroe without evidence, you're out of your mind. That's why we're here to do some investigation. That's why we're here for a reason, right? We need evidence. Anything that could help. Right? Oops, one button. Because I don't think we're leaving this uh, empty handed. Uh, no, that's nothing here. Okay. You know what? You drive. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. All right. Where to? To the firehouse. <clears throat> Lynch says we should visit him at Fire Station 32. Who exactly is this guy, Lynch? Lynch is a legend. You should feel privileged. He doesn't let many people into the inner sanctum. Keep your mouth shut, and you'll learn something about fires. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we came as soon as we could. I think his name is Phelps. He brought in the case of that poor lady in the city hall. Biggs, you two investigating the house fire on Kenmore Avenue as well? Yep. Why? I had a look around the place while I was out there. Do you believe the fire? I deal in facts, Phelps. Evidence of an explosion. No obvious sign of accelerants. Wiring looks intact. Come and take a look at this. This the heater from the Sawyer fire out? Yes, it is. Huh. Looks like it was recently serviced. Mm-hmm. I have a theory, and it's a theory only. I don't have enough evidence to prove... Well, if you say it's so, we're listening. Okay, Phelps. You're a bright penny. You have a gas supply. Mm -hmm. You have a Bunsen burner as a pilot light. Mm -hmm. You have a regulator valve, and the balloon represents the gas expanding in the room. Now, the gas has to make contact with the mosquito coil to form an explosion. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see if you can work out the chain of events. Ah, we're gonna put the so we're gonna put this whole thing together. I see. Okay. Alright. Whoop. 
Da. Let's. The gas bubble needs to be next to the coil if it's going to ignite. Yeah. Good, your regulator's in position. Okay, I'll light your pilot and turn the gas. Okay. Pull the lever on the left to turn on the gas. Hmm, that's cool. So that's how it's being done. Maybe. There could be a fault with these valves. I've adjusted this one for our experiment, but you need to take it to InstaHeat and see what they say. Their headquarters is on <coughs> North Harvard Boulevard, number 262. Thanks, Albert. You're welcome, Biggs. See you at the next show. Cool. Well, we know we're off to. Buddy, you dropped something? After the Insta Heat factory. Show? The next fire. We should go to the factory and see how many of these things are going bang in the night. You know this Chapman character? <laughs> guy's a freak. Loves fires. He's the kind of guy <clears throat> that like for a lot of things, but we don't really have any credible evidence to pursue him with. Mm hmm. But it feels like since now Phillips is here, it feels like things are about to change. In a way where it's like, holy shit, somebody actually came along and actually did something that, you know, that hasn't been done. Again, Phillips is a, a talented detective. Also a country, also has served his country, men. Even though he is uh, being, even though he is actually under a lot of fire right now from everybody. And the possibility of you know being known as that guy who, who quote unquote, had you know had an affair with the Ger with the German woman, even though I don't really think that that's the case. I think he just wanted to needed more evidence about the other case before well got taken off the whole thing. And that newspaper was a foreshadowing event of what's to come. Because he mentioned the war hero, I was like, oh no, Phillips is going to be under a lot of scrutiny. And he's going to be under a lot of shit. Hello, anyone home? Anyone here? That's him. That's the LAPD detectives, ma'am. We need to speak to someone in charge. I see. Well, duty manager for today is Mr. Ray Sick. You should find him in his office. The main reason Santa's so jolly is because he knows where all the bad girls are. Do you think are. this lipstick's too light for my complexion? You read about the Charleston case in the paper? That's the detective who solved it. Those poor kids losing everything. I gotta have it. No. Oh. New and improved model. They'll be selling these like hotcakes. Uh huh. Looks fancy. But hey, eighty. There's such a thing as soap, you know. Eighty-two bucks. That's pretty. Detective Phelps and Biggs, arson. We're investigating a couple of house fires. Can you tell us about this? Pressure regulator from a Model 70 here. Let me take a look. <laughs> we have a problem. This has been tampered with. Uh huh. What? You see this diaphragm? It forms a seal across the seven here. Gas flows across from here to here. The diaphragm regulates flow. Uh huh. It's been reversed. It's a subtle change, but it means the gas never closes off properly. Hmm. Okay. 
That was about this. So you're telling me that this is not a manufacturing fault or service repair? I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with the design. Dal you're telling me that you've never had any problems with this heater? Look, we've changed the design since the Model 70. These things are still being installed? <laughs> it's the demand. None of us could keep up with the amount of housing going up. At the budget end, we're still using some of the old stock. We are installing 100 heaters a week. They're not all faulty. They're not all safe, either. Yeah. Yeah, they're not all safe. Are these diaphragms prone to failure? They uh, tend to go after a while. The rubber lasts quite a few years, and then it perishes. Hmm. The guys' names that I've been seeing doing the repairs <clears throat> on the heaters, they're fully licensed and accredited. Sure, of course they are. Uh... Don't know about that, buddy. Don't. I think you're lying, Rasik. I think some of your men aren't fully licensed. You're desperate to cover your sales. And how are you going to prove that, Detective? Name me one of my guys who would have overlooked a fault like this. Oh, we got a we got a nice little list of we got a nice little list of uh that shows that everything. Let's. What about Matthew Ryan? Matthew Ryan. Uh, you know about Ryan, huh? All right. He's been in some trouble. I know that. He's done his time. You in the habit of hiring criminals, Rasik? I need guys, Detective. This boom is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I want you to get me a copy of the list of your installers. Okay. I'll get it for you. Thank you. There, around a dozen of them. The housing business is going crazy at the moment. This is a long shot. We are not going to rouse that whole list. Nope, we need to... I want to run it by R&I. Cross-reference for arsonists. See if any of these guys have any previous. Sir, I need to use your phone. Go right ahead. Oh, one of these... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sir! Sir! Sir, sir, stop. Stop a posing. Stop with the a posing. <laughs> what is going on? Don't you look at me like that? Hello? Sir, you stop with the a posing. Get off that chair. Get down. Get the fuck down. <laughs> Why are you a posing right now? Why are you looking my looking at me like that? Like I'm the crazy one. What the fuck? Operator, give me dispatch. Oh shit, dude. Putting you through now. God damn, man. People, Cole Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help oh. you? Oh, man, 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 man. I need to know if any of the following names have a previous criminal history. Okay, detective. Run the names. <clears throat> Acevedo Ernesto, Clemens Walter, Elgram John, Gable Leroy, Kellegrew Peter, Cutner Robert, Limehouse Albert, Manning Franklin, Neves Raymond, O'Brien Thomas, Ryan Matthew, Spurgeon William, Barley Reginald, Zurich Stephen. Clemens Walter, previous conviction for arson and malicious damage. Burned down a house in Westwood in 1942. Four-year jail term. Thanks. Thank you. Ryan Matthew, charged for contempt of court, attempted murder, hmm. plea bargain down to assault charge. Okay. Anyone else? There is a Reginald Varley wanted for murder by Detroit Police Department. Uh, Detroit. Thanks. Uh, that's an FBI case right there. If he fled, if he fled Michigan. Mm. Your employment roster is quite the rogues gallery, Mr. Rasick. Desperate times indeed. Get off the freaking chair. God. A posing, I demand. Um, I'm guessing we need something. Do you have an address for Clemens? He's uh, working on an apartment building on uh, Catalina and Third. What about Ryan? Currently working at a housing development on Normandy and First Street. Varley. 
Where is he? Beverly in Mariposa, currently working on a new housing development. Hey, Varley's a good guy. You can't harass all my people. These guys have lockers. Yes, they do. But my men have a right to some privacy. Don't you need a warrant or something? Show him and keep quiet. Yeah, we got some, uh, yeah, unfortunately, though, you don't get that luxury. Especially the fact that we're dealing with, uh... Here. Happy now? Cool. Thank you. Stick around, Mr. Rasick. Mm-hmm. Clemens is a fellow traveler. Matthew Lyons. Another one. Hmm. Some light reading on the merciless capitalist machine. I don't think this is going to help us. This one. Nope. Moss killer. Well, the company went through thousands of these in the war. Still got eaten alive. Barley has a problem with bugs. You know that a mosquito coil takes an hour to burn down, Rasik? No, I didn't know that. It's the favorite choice of ignition by arsonists. Gives them time to get away. You're crazy. He probably lives near the canals in Venice. Mind if I leave you to it? I got work waiting. Okay. Three birds. Clemens, Ryan, Varley. Where to, Phelps? Is it, that is a way we get, that's a good question. Who are we going after first? Three suspects. Cutscene. Looks like he's about to. Looks like he's uh. Let's go over to Walter, Walter Clemens. Let's go to him. It'll be our first one. Wow. You know what, you truck drive? Out of my way. Excuse us, coming for. Excuse us, why does why does police police duty? This way. Shortcut. Yep, shortcut. I don't need this. <sighs> Biggs, LAPD. We want some answers and we want them quick. Okay, okay. What's this all about? Just tell me what you want. 
<clears throat> you know Reginald Barley? No. Can't say I do. Down. Detroit PD is after Reginald Barley for murder. You want us to run you in for aiding and abetting Clemens? Whoa, 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 whoa. All I know about Barley is he gets kickbacks from some developer. Mm -hmm. Does their work first. Spreads around if you can. Mm-hmm. Employment. You're licensed and worked for Instaheat? I contract for them. So what? Instaheat hires arsonists, does it? I've worked as a fitter all my life. Put everything I had into that house. And my fucking mud shark of a wife gets awarded it in the settlement. She's blowing spicks two at a time while I'm at work. And she gets the house. Yeah, I burnt it all right. Set fire to that fucker and watch it burn to the ground. I did my time and I'd do it again. Sorry about the rouse, Clemens. You did the right thing. <laughs> do you know Matthew Ryan? No. Don't know the name. This guy's a this guy's absolutely fucking lying. Uh huh. You and Ryan are fifth columnists. And how do you figure that, wise guy? What proof do you have? You been following me to meetings? No, I got something better. But I no, I got something. I got something way more better. We found a pamphlet in your locker, Clemens. We can add your name to the register. QX might want to interview you. That shit was from Ryan. He's always pushing that shit on people. Drives me nuts. He's got it in for the company. Mm-hmm. All right, Clemens. You're off the hook for the moment. Can I get back to work now? Let's get out of here, Phelps. He ain't our guy. Hey, right, you're driving us to the next one. You're behind the wheel. So where do you want to go? Let's go to Ryan's work site. See what he knows. Are you Matthew Ryan? Who's asking? Detective Phelps and Biggs, arson squad. Arson? You heard the man. Well, just put this stuff in the car and I'll be right with you. Hold it, Ryan. I said, son of a bitch. Yep. Fucking running. Those are GI's backyard just crashing through. The damage is only cosmetic. He's a one-man wrecking ball. Move in. I'll take out the bear. Smash the son of a bitch's rear wheels. He's going to kill those men. They'll get out of the way. Only if they hear him coming. Close in, Phelps. We need to take Ryan down before he hurts somebody. Trying to, but he's just, uh... Don't go to sleep on me. Get in close. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. This guy is driving like an absolute madman. I'll go for the tire. That ought to slow the son of a bitch down. Get back here, you. Arson-related assault charge, and he's running. Running don't mean nothing. We gotta get this guy in a room before we can get an angle on him. This man has got to be stopped. Jesus, what is he doing? The tr Give it up, LAPD. Why did you run, Ryan? I was scared. You got a reason to be scared, Ryan? Matthew Ryan, I'm arresting you on suspicion of committing a series of arsons. Whoop. Sucks to be you, buddy. Send your ass packing. Now, I wonder if we could check the other one. I wonder if we could check the other guy. See if he has any uh, connections. You drive. I need to go over the case now. Okay, well, we gotta go to... And where exactly are we going? Going to the next work site. Bartley's on the run. He might be packing heat. He's wanted for murder. I say we take the doubt out of the equation and let him have it. You nervous? It's been a while. You were in combat. In 1917. You know, I never fired my weapon in the line of duty. Hmm. So 
And that one's nothing to be ashamed of. I hope your piece is still serviceable, Herschel. I may be old and out of practice, but I'm still a Marine, Phelps. <laughs> it would be better for our case if we could bring him in, Herschel. Again, two uh, two people in, in in military service. LAPD, Varley. Stop or I'll shoot. Now oh, you, this guy. This guy. Come on, don't make this hot. Don't make this so awkward. Come on, Varley. You can't keep running forever. Stop running, man. You're only making this harder on yourself. You run all the way from Michigan, Reginald? Yeah, I gotta say, he definitely took a pretty... He definitely went pretty far from Michigan to come to California. Got your ass. Sucker punch the man too. Why did you run from us, Barley? I'm gonna take a wild guess that you're the same Reginald Barley. Detroit police have an outstanding warrant on you. How am I doing so far? I need a lawyer before I talk to any of you. Reginald Barley, you're under arrest for committing a series of arsons. You're also under arrest for murder. Detroit PD will be putting in a request for your extradition. Until then, your guess is safe. Arson? You you can't hang that rap on me. Be quiet. Be thankful we don't shoot you. Are all the cops in this town crazy? Take him away, officer. Get him out of here. Get him the get him the hell out of here. We have three suspects. As much as I'd like it to be, Chapman, I think it's one of the other two guys. Let's get to the station and close this case. Yeah. A lot of houses under good. A lot of new houses are, are being under construction. So, at least the first two. Get out of our way, truck driver! Out of the way! We got work to do. We got two out of the three suspects. The first suspect uh, was Queen. It was pretty much Queen. The other two, on the other hand, not so Queen. They're pretty guilty, the way how it sounds. Mouthpiece broke scripts off me at the grand jury. Case got thrown out. Now the DA wants my head. I have two suspects. Phelps, you got nothing. Biggs, Ryan's waiting for you in interview one. Barley's in two. Hey, Hopkins, you practicing your asshole routine again? Come on, Phelps. You were smoking a cigarette when you started, right? All right, well, we have two, but we need to find the correct one, though. Save yourself some time and get this thing off your chest. <laughs> if that's your opening gambit, you better try again. Nah, uh, trade two. Alright, uh, this is, uh, Matthew Lyons. Alright, time to ask him some questions. So you want to change the world, Ryan? Yes, I do. So does every reasonable person. And you're doing your part? Yes, I am. Does that include sabotaging water heaters to destroy a company? I have no idea what you're talking about. This is industrial sabotage, Ryan. It's all part of your campaign. You're delusional, detective. What campaign? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> well, we have the uh, one pamphlet of the other. The locker is full of pamphlets. 
Clements told us how you were always foisting them on people. Sure. I spread the pamphlets. A guy has to do something. Mm -hmm. Insta-heat heaters break down every day. They're still peddling the same lousy design that they lifted from Hephaestos. Insta-heat bought out Hephaestos? Them, Vulcan, Pyro, and a bunch of other companies. And you still work for them? A guy has to work. And the directors of the company. How do you feel about them these days? You work it out. Mm hmm You know how to reverse a diaphragm in the regulator valve of a Model 70 heater? No, I don't. Mm hmm Do we have a... Uh, yep. If you know enough to do your job, you know enough to do that repair. You're lying, Ryan. And how do you think you can prove that? Well, simple. Well, uh, your boss man, we, your boss man, you know, kind of gave up. Your boss at Insta Heat said that you've all been trained to do it. It's a common repair. Are you calling him a liar? Okay. So I know how it's done. But what would be the point? You'd just end up with a gas leak and then a small fire when you turn the pilot pack on. And if you didn't reset the pilot and the gas spread, what was the cause of the fire in your own home, Ryan? Yeah. I won't tell you. Mm hmm What can you tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Nothing. Doubt. Very doubtful. I think Suburban is a front for your anarchist buddies. They're arranging for people to be out of town while you burn their houses down. Suburban? What's that got to do with me? That's Farley's bilk. He's the one with the cozy agreement with those fascists. Mm hmm Now... Now we again can ask them both. Uh, we we do like to ask them both questions, though. Let's see. Now you got nothing to say? Well, I'm not done. Well, we'll be back. Be back. Matthew Ryan, I'm charging you with committing a series of arsons. Well, I never mind. Murders. I was of Hank Sawyer, Edwina Sawyer, Henry Sawyer, and Jessica Sawyer. I was going. an innocent man away here. You hear me? I didn't set any fires. I didn't kill that family. Well, I was going to question the other guy, but okay. Thanks, game. <laughs> well, let's see how this goes. Hello. Hello. What you did to your wife and kids is on America. My wife threw me out. Did I ask for your opinion? You're here to listen to mine. Uh huh. What I was going to say before I was interrupted was you did a good job on the Stefan Sawyer case. We don't often get results in arson. So well done. What about me? Do I get a little stamp by my hand or a lollipop or something? Mm -hmm. What you get is another case. Mm -hmm. A bad one, unfortunately. No. <laughs> uh. Well, I'm guessing once to. Well, by guessing that if we charge the other one. I don't think the other one would be a pops possible outcome. Even though they're both bad. But that guy who's from Detroit, he has his own he has his own separate case. Alright, back in World War Two. Like shit's about to go down. Okay. You're two blocks behind first and second. We have more buildings to clear. You know our orders, There's Sergeant. There's barely a building left standing or not on fire in your zone, Cole. Is your sector full of Japs? Questioning my command. The captain doesn't want anyone falling behind. Tell the captain we will join him when the job is done. Hmm. Just give us the word, Sarge. We'll take care of him. He should be sectioned. That Jap lover's a fucking liability. We're here to kill Japs, not our own people. Starcross, son of a bitch. No one wants to serve under him. He's bad fucking luck. Can it? We have a job to do here. If I can live with it, you can too. 
Sure, they sure don't like it. They sure don't like him. A walk in the Elson Fields. Okay. All right. Origamis. Uh, is he an origami? Is he like an origami killer? Before Scott Shelby from uh, Heavy Rain. Uh, there's a lot of orga origami. Uh, fi little figures. House fire, bad one. At okay. least four Vicks. Get out there and find out what you can. Okay. Address is six fifty North Hobart. Well done. I don't care. I don't go in for letting gangsters off scot free. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> Game. Oh yeah, I forgot there was another door that leads out here. Alright, off we go. You hear about Rancho mm. Escondido? Are we having a conversation, Big? Okay, fuck it. Forget I. I'm teasing you, Hirsch. Tell me about it. The new housing developments come a weeks from completion. Burned to the ground last night. GIs are ready to move in this weekend. The developer's gonna have some very angry customers. Mm-hmm. about Jeff. Garrison Desk has been trying to nail that son of a bitch for years. He's still in custody, Herschel. Wanna bet? Fella kicked the moose already. Can't hold him for misdemeanor cigarettes and matches. The show is opening up so late to us. The first evil is not much, much want to make small talk, but yeah, at the end, we're all we're all wearing the same uniform, we're all basically trying to do trying to do the job. So we gotta work together. Again, kind of sucks for Phil, for Cole Phillip, who uh, unfortunately got the receive, who got pretty much thrown under the bus. I think it was kind of, I don't, I don't think he actually did that. I think it was just a way to get him off, you know, get him out of the way. As a convenience to the, you know, the corrupted, uh, to the corrupted law enforcement. Because in a way, it is corrupt to all hell. Secondly, I wonder how, I'm curious, like, how close am I to finishing the main, the main game story? This has definitely gone on for quite some time. No other that I complain. It's actually a pretty rainy game. Hey, Mel. It's good to see you again. You guys better see this. I hope you have strong stomachs. Oh, terrific. You say that, that means it's gotta be horrific, a horrific death. That's Morelli, Mike. We recovered a picture of the family. Okay. Anything else? To be honest, I just got here, Phelps. Best you talk to Lynch. He's the expert. Doesn't make any sense. Why aren't they scattered around like the rest of the debris? I think they've been moved. Ooh. I think someone moved them after the explosion and before the fire. Can you explain that, please? I'm almost positive the cause of death is asphyxiation due to gas inhalation. Look at the parts of their bodies that aren't scorched. The coloring around the fingertips is typical. They wouldn't have felt a thing. I think the fire damage was post-mortem. Mm. I think someone moved them into this room after the explosion. It still doesn't make any sense. Why would you run into a burning building? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. Wow. What are you doing? The prayer effect is from the fire. The muscles and tendons contract. Hmm. Yep, that's the family. 
you ever think about how many people have died in this world? Another and how day. big heaven would have to no. be to accommodate them, Biggs? No, I have not. Show some respect. It's our boy. I think he watches the fires. I think the Sawyer fire went wrong. But what about the guy we have in jail, Phelps? You got the wrong guy. That doesn't explain why he ran into a burning building. What would make anyone do that? Guilt. For the fire? For his mistake. This guy wants to burn houses, not families. He expects the houses to be empty. He was trying to redeem himself. He probably thought they'd be happier together. You are one very disturbed individual, Phelps. I know you had it rough lately, but you should start to compartmentalize your thoughts. He could be right. Can you come up with an alternative explanation? I'm sure it's the same guy. Are you telling me that some son of a bitch murdered these people, the whole family, and arranged them here like Cupid dolls? Yeah. It might fit, Cole, but I don't think we could ever prove it. There's very little evidence. Oh, hello. Evidence? No, evidence? And he just ran. Albert. Check out the hot water system. Make sure we're dealing with the same M.O. Sure, Phelps. I'll get back to you. Leave the rest to us, Cole. You better find out what's eating the bigs. Uh, yeah. That one's kind of surprising. You just ran out of the house like that. Yeah, hey. Hey, Blake. You okay? So something finally got to you. You want my help, pretty boy? You got it. You keep riding me and you won't be pretty much longer. Uh-huh. We can get this guy, Herschel. You think you've seen everything, Phelps? I was with the second Marines at Bella Wood. Uh -huh. Things that went on in that farmhouse. My own guys on fire screaming for a way out. Believe it or not. We are not going to get this guy. There's going to be no photos and no citations. We're going to kill this miserable fuck. End of story. You get this? That seems personal. Hmm. You remember the list from the travel agent? Sure. The Morellis were winners too. Their name was on that list. Christ. We should take a look around, work the neighbors, see what they know. I'll go across the street. Okay, I'll try this side. Okay. I haven't done this for years. Oh, time to. You don't look like a fireman, son. Nope. Nope, you're right. I'm not. LAPD, can you tell me anything about the fire next door? Terrible luck. Imagine after having won that weekend away. What's your name, sir? Foreman. Dudley Foreman. Dudley Foreman. What can you tell us? Did you see or hear anything that might have... Look, we were asleep when we heard the explosion. Hmm. Is that, is that true, though? Hmm. I don't know what. Let's see if the way... The way he reacted, like we were asleep when we heard the explosion. Hmm. Mm hmm. Right. You didn't like Morelli, did you? Some neighbors you get along with, some you don't. Guess they should have sold up. What do you mean? They're knocking down all these old houses and building a new subdivision for GIs. Morelli was being difficult. Mm-hmm. You said someone is knocking these houses down? Elysian Fields. You must know them. They're billboards. Mm -hmm. That Monroe character beaming down at you. We've had an offer for the house. Did the Morellis want to sell? I don't know. Whatever you thought of Morelli, his whole family is dead. They couldn't have all deserved that. I want you to help me here, Foreman. Morelli was pig-headed. He built the house himself. He didn't want to sell. 
stubborn fool was ruining it for all of us. Still kind of fucked up, though. So, anyway, the fact that, you know, it's his home. You said the Morellis had won a weekend away. To Catalina Island? Yeah, that's right. First thing I thought after the explosion was, thank goodness they was away. But then I find out they were still in there. Who was running the competition? What? I don't know. Hmm, sound the trip. You didn't enter yourself? I'd already agreed to sell. The competition was an incentive for those who were still thinking about it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, we're still... Okay, well, it looks like we're not done in. We're not done yet. Someone was keeping watch. Looks like they were here for quite a while. Brand looks distinctive. Mm-hmm. Mm. Like Whoever he was, he was wearing boondockers. I would know that imprint anywhere. Mm-hmm. I hope we got some more questions for him anyway. Mm, last one. Did you see anyone hanging around the Morelli's home prior to the explosion? Nope. Can't say as I was looking out though. Hmm. Sure, Mr. Foreman. There are signs of someone hanging around over there by the fence. Hey, now that you come to think of it, there was a guy. Kind of tall. Skinny though. Anything else? Orange lumber jacket. Beat up hat and no hair. I thought he was the pest exterminator guy who was working around here the last few days. But that guy had hair. Mm hmm Thanks for your time, Mr. Foreman. Sure. Hey, if you're interested, I have one of those competition flyers in the kitchen. I could get it for you if you like. That would be great. Yes, we would appreciate that. Any luck, Cole? A couple of things. What did you pick up? An older piece of paper. Looks complicated. Japanese call it origami. Can I take a look? Sure. Yeah, so paper crane. There's a legend about them. You fold one thousand of these and you get a wish. Mm hmm. Let's see what the let's see what's this hey, paper. Don't break it. I'm not. I'm unfolding it. It looks like a waybill or a flyer. For what? For Elysian Fields <clears throat> developments. Hmm. Something's up. Oh, I see you already have one. Well, yeah, looks identical, but you know what? When did the flyer arrive in your mailbox? They've been arriving for weeks. This one was in the mailbox when I got home from work yesterday afternoon. Went a trip to Calumny Island, Maine, Michigan, 945. Okay. Oh, there you go. Since we got one already. Don't say trip. I don't know about triple. It's, qu it's quadruple. I need an address for a property developer. Elysian Fields Developments. One moment, detective. The address is 748 North Oxford Avenue, Wilshire. Anything else? Messages, please. If you have a message, contact Captain McKelty immediately. Thanks. Can you put me through, operator? Of course. Here you are. Commander? <clears throat> Elise on the Morelli farm. We're about to go and visit Elysian Fields Developments. You're about to do what? Leland Monroe? He's a personal friend of the mayor and the chief. Are you out of your mind? I'm warning you. Phelps. Hmm. Either we have a line of inquiry. You have something, you bring it to me. You're hanging by a thread, Phelps. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Good. Have a report on my desk today. That that's so suspect. Kelty has warned us off over a lesion. Makes sense. It's a dead end. No. We should check out Rancho Escondido. You know the place. Sure, corner of Fountain and Wilton. Let's go. Hold on. We still need to investigate this place. There's still more in this house. I want to clean this place. I want to pick this clean. Pick this place clean. 
of everything. Oh, what's that? That yeah, looks like a hair bush. Doesn't look like anything. Well, Mila, it could, could be one of the two. A basement? Let's check the base. Oh, it's flooded down here. Uh, considering the circumstance, likely so. This is the flashpoint. The heater detonated with enough force to expose the foundations. Yeah. Anything down here? No, nothing significant about that one. Baseball. This doesn't pertain to the case. No, it does not. But we're gonna need to double check to make sure we got everything. Since the game does not have this place checklisted off for us yet, so that means there's still more there's still more evidence. see anything else out here but let's, I mean in here but let's check outside oh there we go got another one looks like the same model yep with the same with the same list Into for the back. Oof. Can't imagine that. Can't can't imagine how terrified I was if a piece of the if a piece of the house you know come flying at me. Oh, is that a newspaper? That looks like a newspaper. What do we have here? All right, let's check How this out. How did you get my number, Ira? At first, I didn't understand you, but now I do. I'd like you to come back to the clinic. I'm helping other people now, Doctor. I think you are confused. You haven't been to the clinic for weeks. I'm not confused anymore, Doctor. I'm helping people be together. This world is only temporary. We'll all be happier in heaven. Why don't you tell me where you are, and I can come to you? I think the fires should end now. They have served their purpose. Oh, the fires are only beginning, Doctor. After the fires, everything will be beautiful and clean. Everything will be erased. Mm. The world will be fresh and new. I can see my purpose now, Doctor. And you helped me to find it. This fucking Doctor, he's connected. In some ways, he's so he's like in a way like involved. Is somebody gonna tell us what the hell's going on? Just like in a way, he's like so involved with a lot of things here. Okay, I think we got everything we need. Can you drive to this one? All right, where to? Hmm. I wonder if there's any consequences of going to the, uh, the S1 fields. Or we can just go, or...
Yeah, we'll go there. We'll go there later. I'm trying to get us to back off though, but we'll play for a moment, but then we're going to find that take a look anyway. Oh, my guy, you just there's times when you really miss a nightstick. There's more religion in the end of a nightstick than in a hundred cathedrals. I'm not gonna tell you again, sir. Don't tell me when and how I can come and go on my own property. It is not this is safe, America, dickhead. Sir. Now step back or I'll lock you up for Smart a break. Son of a bitch. Whoa, oh. Okay already. Oh, that's getting Stand chaos. Down. That's an order. Oh, pfft. I like how he fell over. Alright. Guys got a little fucking. Good thing you showed up when you did, detectives. Those folks were baying for blood. Yeah. Okay, then. Oh shit. Oh uh, wow. Woo! Look at the look at the mess. That's actually quite a lot of few houses that wow. Wowzers. That's a lot of houses that just got burned down. Well fuck. Where I mean, where where to begin? Check around this house first. Holy shit, this is a Big mess here. Uh, that is so. That is a big amount of mess. Check around to see if there's anything. Nope. Yeah, that's just. Uh, that's a lot of houses that just got blown up. I think they want us to find. Probably need to find the one house that might have us. It might have some significant weeds. Not going on that. Hop over that. Wow. Yeah, it's the whole block. Even over the. Oh my lord. Well, this is definitely going to be a hell of a mess to figure out. Yeah. Okay. We just need to find. We just need to get to. We need to find a particular building that will have our crew. Yeah, this is a whole block that just got burned down. When the hell that? When the hell the hell this all happened? I mean, hell, this is a hell of a way to go. Hell of a way to go to lose it, you know, bo take out an entire block full of houses. It's gotta be something we can go on. Nope, can't walk up on that. I guess we just need to keep looking until we have uh, the ability to have the opportunity to walk into. One of these houses. Oh my god, this is gonna definitely take a bit. <laughs> Cause I don't even know where to begin. And honestly, I'm kinda like, uh. Nope, not there. Okay, you know what? I need to see. 
Examine the side of the building to your right to find poor cement poor cement quality. I'm thinking back where we first began. Yeah. This is what I'm gonna need to work up so that way I'm not wasting too much time. Yeah, that's that's pretty crazy. That's that's pretty wild to see all those uh, buildings go up and smoke like that. Okay. Okay. Okay, so it's this place, so it's this building. The music is the key to, uh, I, to, foot, to know if we're working. Oh. What do we have here? Mortar is like dust. Is that normal in a fire? We expect some shrinkage in the heat. But it looks like the cement barely adhered to the brick. Doesn't appear to be any wall ties either. This thing looks like it was built on the cheap. Looks like it. Oh. Yep. Super cheap. If we're paying a visit to Alicia and ruining my career, let's bite the bullet and get on with it. Alright. Let's do it. Yep, I don't care if they're, if they're you know, if, you know, politicians or whatever. We still have to want an inquiry. Still gotta want an inquiry about this. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? I mean, that's a lot of buildings. That's a lot of houses just got burned down. Okay, let's talk, let's talk, let's, let's, uh, walk the walk and confront this. Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD, to see Leland Monroe. You have an appointment? With a police lady. You don't need an appointment. Can I tell him what it's about? It's an official investigation. There are two police officers here to see Mr. Monroe. All right, we go. And that's our cue. Thanks, ma'am. May I help you, gentlemen? <clears throat> I'd like to speak to Mr. Monroe. I'm afraid it's impossible. Mr. Monroe's schedule is with police on his desk. Cut to the chase, sister. Is he in? I'm not at liberty to reveal that officer. So he hired you for your intelligence? I find that offensive. You have every right to. This is getting us nowhere, miss. Encino. Would you like us to return with a warrant? That won't be necessary, gentlemen. Come into my office. There's the man himself. You like a cigar? Drink, boy. Sure, I'll have a scotch. Biggs. We're investigating a series of domestic fires, Mr. Monroe. Terrible, boy. How can I help? Let's I hope that's all. No, I didn't. <sighs> you son of a bitch. I wanted to review evidence, you stupid. Stupid game. Elysian Fields and Suburban Redevelopment Fund flyers keep turning up in the vicinity of the fires. They're turning up all over town, boys. Can you imagine the current demand for housing? So that's your explanation, Mr. Monroe? A coincidence? Explanation? Why, what's to explain? 
I advertise on radio and billboards for buyers, and I advertise for sellers using Weber. Mm hmm. We hear that Suburban is under severe time pressure to complete work on the new houses. I think you're getting heavy handed about it, and it's gone wrong. I hope you have some proof of how I'm involved in this. I'll be happy to sue you for whatever you're worth. Rancho Escondido burned to the ground last night. That's one of my prestige developments. Damn. Oh, what? I'm a victim of these fires too, Detective. Oh, well, that sucked. That's bullshit, but okay. I guess that didn't count. Even though all that should. What do you know about a competition for families to win free vacations to Catalina Island? My company runs many promotions. Um, I'm not familiar with that one. <sighs> Level with me, Mr. Monroe. You know all about the vacation offers. You can believe whatever you like, son. You're missing the vital ingredient called proof. Well, I did have the poof. I just chose the wrong one. Your face is all over the flyers, Mr. Monroe. You know about the prizes, and you're aware that they get given to holdouts. My face is the brand. It's on all our advertising. Did you know that the mayor and the chief of police are part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Do you want to accuse them of murder as well? Yeah. I've made offers to buy houses in areas where fires have been recorded. <laughs> Are you suggesting that I'm burning people out of their homes so that I can sell them new ones? What happens to your plans if a family like the Morellis refuses to sell? We work around them. Business finds a way. That's the American way. Come on, Mr. Monroe. You expect me to believe that you would build a new development with one of those old piles smack bang in the center of it? Progress is an inexorable process, detective. Those who choose to stand in defiance are usually confined to the waste basket of history. Mm-hmm. To answer your question, yes, we would build around them if we had to. Most people see sense. Yeah, now, but now I can agree, though. <clears throat> What's Elysian Fields' involvement in Rancho Escondido? It's one of our latest housing developments. It was due to open on the weekend, or was before the unfortunate conflagration. It met with building code regulations. Absolutely. Only the best for our returning heroes. I doubt that. Lying, Monroe. There's something out of kilter about that development. Son, I've had enough of you and your fidgety friends. There's no way in hell you can prove that my materials were inferior. Uh, yeah. I do. It's called, yeah, I do have such a thing. I'm no expert, but I think we'll find that the bricks being used on those houses are undersized and the mortar is faulty. And there's no wall ties connecting the masonry to the frame. Every building is built to a budget, boys. Those buildings were inspected and fully insured by California Fire and Light. Hmm. Investment of that magnitude demands it. Oh, no. Do you think the Fed vouched for the buildings without examining them? Uh. The arsonist. Do you have any suspects? We aren't at liberty to say. I didn't think so. The contractors I use for Weber. Do you suppose there could be any of them? I have a list of their names, if it would be of any help. That would be very helpful, Mr. Monroe. Glad to hear it. I'm always happy to help the LAPD. My secretary will provide you with that list. Did you know that I'm on the board of the police pension fund? No, of course, yep. Glad to be of help, officers. What's the story? Any of these names ring a bell? <clears throat> Let's see. There we go, that's the name. Herbert Chapman is on this list. Find the phone. 
We need to know where we're at with Chapman. Yeah, and I yeah, and I wonder what else did uh b what our boy Manuel you know said to you while I was out here for a moment. Well, it can only mean one thing. Your boss is a fine man. See him? I saw his picture in the paper. Worked that case with the lady cut up like the Dahlia. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps badge twelve forty seven. Can you check whether we are still holding a Herbert Chapman? Let me find out for you. He was released this morning, Detective. Damn. I'm sorry, Detective. It's not your fault. Can you give me a last known address and put out an APB on the guy? I'll get back to you, Detective. APB will go out over KGPL shortly. Thanks, ma'am. Alright. Well, while that's happening. I love the chase till the minute I win it. A beautiful face. Yeah, this club again. Give me a heart. Wayman. Well, not Wayman. Boy. Buy me a drink, Cole. No, not even for old times' sake. Fuck not you for that. Fuck you. You second. You're not gonna ask me why I'm here. I wouldn't give you the pleasure. I'll get around to it. You second shit. She's in fine voice this evening. I wonder how the commander would feel Save about. Save the threats for someone who cares about the boy. You're breaking my heart, Cole. You know how I feel about you. Yeah. It wasn't fucking cool of you following me underneath the fucking bus, asshole. Stay away from Elysian Fields. Yep. I should have known that you were playing errand boy. You and your doofus partner. You have been warned. Thanks for your cooperation, officer. I love you. Stay away. You have no idea the type of people that are involved in that company. I have a pretty good idea, Roy. The same kind of people that sent you here. Yeah. Your investigation is finished. Homicide will be taking over from here. I've heard we've had a spate of grass fires in the hills that you and that hunchback might be able to handle. Thanks for the drink, Cole. Yeah. Again, we knew he was bad at. Yeah, we figured he was bad, but he's. Get the message about Monroe. Yeah. Earl delivered it. You? The Kelvin. Started making noises about my pension. Sorry about that, Herschel. I didn't mean to drag you into this. Save it, Phelps. Monroe was an ass fight. And so was Earl. And so was McKelty when it's all said and done. Yep. Ass wipes they are indeed. KGPL calling car 11K. 11K. 11K, go ahead. Roger that, KGPL. 11K en route. Let's go pick him up. You fought at Sugarloaf, didn't you? I did. But I don't like to talk about it. You come across a guy called Jack Kelso out that way? You know Jack Kelso? He's an insurance investigator over at California Fire and Life. Our paths cross from time to time. For some reason, seeing you makes me think of him. Has uh, Jack spoken to you about his experiences on Sugarloaf? Or the rest of the campaign? Jack keeps stung just like you do. I know what it feels like to get back from conflict. You gotta respect that. Yeah. Looks like uh, now, now we're diving into something that's very deep, very corrupt. Very deep. Corrupt politicians, corrupting the police. Sure, sure has an ugly way of showing, you know, doing that. Excuse me, coming through. Whoa! Ho ho! That was a good as one! Ho ho! Well, I, I, 
Driving like a maniac. Then again, that, then again, we're not we're not really buying the wall, of driving on the you know the traffic speed. So you know, and the fact that this is a Rockstar game, anything goes. Which are the same people that made Grand Theft Auto. Oops, sorry about that, sir. Oops. We'll know where we've been if we try to retrace our steps. Oops, sorry about that sign. Sorry about that, you know, smacking the back of your tr of that truck there, sir. That's one hell of a distance we're making. Here we are. We're looking for Herbert Chapman. I'm looking for him too. I need him to move his car so I can mow the lawn. He's definitely not here. I've been banging on his door off and on for a couple of hours. Yeah, he's out somewhere. Is there some kind Let's of problem? Let's take a look at the car. See what he's hauling around. Mosquito, mosquito kills. Motive, opportunity, and hard evidence. And then we have a, we have some ammunition. Looks like 45s. They look like. We should revive the APB. He's clearly armed. You look at this clown. Uh, oh, I see we got more of this. Definitely gives him opportunity. Hold it, Cole. There he is. It's Chapman. He's coming out of the laundromat. Shit. He's seen us. Cops. Again. Oh, shit. He's... Shit, he got on that... Son of a bitch, he must have caught the trolley. We gotta move fast, Cole. I'll call this in. Get some cars dispatched. Car 11K calling KGPL. Go ahead, 11K. 11K requesting assistance. In pursuit of suspect aboard the 1110 University Streetcar. Currently heading east on Melrose Avenue. Advise all units. Suspect is in control of car and driving dangerously. Can't really lose him. Can't really lose him, considering the fact that we're staying right behind him. See if he can damage one of the wheels. Might act like a brake and slow the thing down. Will do. Yeah. Hold him tight, Cole. As soon as he ditches the tram, we'll be there to grab him. I can't get a target that isn't there, Phelps. Give me close. There you go. End of the line, you little prick. Come on, Cole. Nope. 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 He. I thought I was trying. It's like we have our man. Not so sure. Chapman seemed to have his own agenda. There seems to be more to this than a personal vendetta. What are you talking about? The fires benefit a lesion in some way. I see Chapman and Monroe working together. You have a point. But the evidence is good for Chapman. Hard to be worrying about his side of the story when he's blasting away with that big 45. Hmm. Definitely, definitely a lot. Nice work, gentlemen. Put yourself at considerable risk stopping that trolley and probably saved a lot of lives. 
anyone else but you, Phelps, and you'd be up for a bravery award. We've had our eyes on that slippery son of a bitch Chapman for as long as I can remember. I couldn't be happier than to wipe him off the scoreboard. Mm -hmm. I hope this puts to bed that crazy stuff you had going about Leland Monroe. What were you thinking, Phelps? You'll be calling Richard Nixon a crook next. <laughs> uh, he, well, that's funny. He became a crook. A letter from Bill. His insurance policy named me beneficiary. California Fire and Life. You look for a lesion? The roof that you were working on collapsed. It's a very generous settlement. Elsa, I'd like you to do something for me. I think there's something dirty about Elysian Fields. What has that got to do with Lou? I want you to reject this settlement. I want you to go and see an investigator. Jack Kelso, and ask him to make some inquiries about Lou's case. Isn't this police work? Do you want to find out what happened to Lou? Why would he help Mr. Kelso? Jack won't be able to help himself if he smells a rat. He is a friend of yours? He hates my guts. Elsa, <clears throat> take this money and let them get away with it, or we could get Jack's help and do something about it. Why not be honest with this man, Cole? He deserves your honesty if you want his help. Believe me, Elsa, I'd like to level with him. I really would, but it's too late. Years too late. Hmm. He's getting caught. So I'm guessing the affairs are true. No way, that's one hell of a way to fucking sabotage a man's, uh... Man's career like that. House of Sticks. California Fires and Wipes. Mr. Kelso? That's what the sign on the door says, miss. Mm hmm. Oh, are we playing? Hold up, we're now playing him. We're playing as him now. There's no need to come to the office, Miss Lichtman. If you accept the settlement, all you need to do is sign here. I don't accept the what settlement. What do you mean you don't accept? I think you're pushing your luck, lady. This seems to be a ridiculously generous settlement. A $200 policy with a $20,000 payout? You should. I don't want the money. What do you mean you don't want the money? I want you to investigate this case. I feel my friend may have been the victim of foul play. Okay, let me get the case file. Somebody deep. Looks like we're getting in much more deeper here. stuff here. There's got to be more in these files. Oh, no, 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 no. There's something else in that report. I know it. All right. Yeah, we matched this up already. I didn't mean to exit out of that. Okay. Nope. Oh, there we go. Sounds like your friend took a hell of a fall. Sorry for your loss. Do 
you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Of course not. Hmm. All right. Give me a moment to do something. <sighs> Happy Easter, sis. How, how was your uh, Easter? Bop, bop. Uh, my day's been, my day's been good, sis. It's been all right, dude. Okay. Now, let's see. What basis do you have for your claim of foul play? Your Buck Walter was a craftsman. I don't believe he would have made a roof that would collapse. And what was the question again? You want me to reopen this case based on your woman's intuition? That isn't going to happen. Take the money. I've already told you I do not want the money. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Mm. He's being stupid right now. You guys are doing that. You and Buck Walter weren't married? No. Then how did you become his beneficiary? We were family friends. You expect me to reopen this case because you come in here walking that walk? Well, I'm not buying it. I think you should tell me what the hell is going on. You really want to know? Yes. yes. He's there next we Sunday. Uh, yeah, she told me. Resident alien Germans whose parents had been killed by Nazis. You see the irony in that, Mr. Kelso. He spent four years there. Mm hmm. So the roof collapsed, accidents happened. What exactly are you trying to achieve here, Miss Litzman? Exactly what I said. I want that building thoroughly investigated. Well, I'm very German. Yeah, oh, man. All oh, very German, yeah. I really am. But you're going to have to give me something if you want me to get involved in this. There is a conspiracy surrounding Elysian Fields and the new houses they are building. I believe your insurance company is involved. Ooh. -oh. That's pretty heady stuff, Miss Lipsman. Flimsy, but heady. I've told you what I know, Mr. Kelso. What are you going to do about it? All right, Miss Lipsman. One final question. Yes. What's your address? Is that the usual? Is there anything usual about this case, Miss Lipsman? The address is on the letter, Mr. Kelso. The address. Not the phone number. Mm-hmm. She said she's uh setting up uh him for a call. See And off she goes. Mr. Benson would like to see you in his office, Jack. Upstairs. Okay. <laughs> Come on, I'll walk you up. It's interesting we're playing a different character. We're not playing as uh Phillips uh Cole this time. We're playing as Jack Kelso. Another another, you know, veteran of uh World War Two. Wonder why I need to be seen up to the office. Probably about something in particular. Oh, he's playing golf in his office. Mr. Benson, you wanted to see me? 
Ah, yes, Jack. I'm just trying out a new putter. I notice Elsa Lickman in the lobby. It's the weirdest thing, Mr. Benson. Call me Curtis, Jack. This is California. Like I said, Curtis, this is a very strange case. How so, Jack? That lady, Elsa Lichtman, is refusing a 20 grand payout. Mm -hmm. Elsa Lichtman is hardly a lady, Jack. She's a jazz musician. Plays at the Blue Room in Hollywood. She has a fine pair of lungs, now that I think She's of it. She's the beneficiary of this guy, Lou Buckwalter. He was killed in an industrial accident working for Elysian Fields Developments. Do you know Elysian? I'm familiar with Leland Monroe. We move in similar circles. Mm -hmm. Well, Miss Lichtman is making some pretty serious accusations. She says the case stinks and that She's a very happened. highly strung girl, Jack. Strung out might be a better way to put it. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty generous payment, Curtis. I think I should look into it. Is there anything wrong with the paperwork, Kelso? No, there isn't, Mr. Benson. I didn't think so. Pay the case out and get her off our backs. I can't make her take the money, Deal sir. Deal with it, Jack. Do your fucking job. Do I have to do everything? No, sir, you don't. Fine, Jack. Fine. You know I have the greatest confidence in you. Fucking club. Thanks, Mr. Benson. Fucking corrupted uh, officials, man. They don't want people getting close to the truth. So they'll do anything they can to shut them up or try to silence them. The main reason Santa's so jolly is because he knows where all the bad girls are. Your car, Mr. Kelso. Thanks, kid. Uh, just gonna just skip the the drive skip that whole driving ordeal and just get right to our destination It's interesting we're playing a different character this time Well, fine. What should we have here? That's not how my pop taught me to mix it. Someone is cutting corners. Even he know. Even he knows something's not right about this. Bulldozing and starting again. Leland Monroe, the man with the grin. Looks like he doesn't like to be disappointed. <clears throat> okay. Anything else in here? Nope. Nope. Hey! You just can't be walking around down here. I'm Jack Kelso, from California Fire and Light. I don't care if you're from the Vatican. Buzz off! I'm investigating the accidental death of a Lou Buckwalter, and- You deaf? Do I have to beat on you? Looks like you do. You're a real asshole. You know that? Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, you got it. Take another. to see the house where Lou Buckwalter died. You were just about to offer to show me the way. It's out the gate and three houses down to the left. Don't know what you're looking for, smart guy. There's nothing there. Then I'll poke around in the rubble. Fine. As long as you're out of my sight. This guy's an asshole. This guy's a real asshole. Place falls down and then they bulldoze it. 
What gives here? Nope, nothing there. Only movie guards and things like that. Let's try to piece this together. Calling a news group? That's not right. Would be an insult to see. Uh, okay, so we gotta do. We do we do we have to piece it all together? Keystone films. Who gets their lumber from a film studio? A film studio? Hmm. That seems pretty cheap, right? But oh, Shh. oh shit! Somebody is trying to. Somebody is trying to fucking. Uh... This guy's trying to fucking. This guy's trying to fucking kill me. It's the asshole too. Yeah, nice try. Try to get him kit. He trying to whack him. Oops. Nope. Nope. I don't need that. I need to go to the. Need to go to the phone booth. I gotta try to kill me. But it didn't work. Jack Kelso, California Fire and Life Investigator. I need an address on the Keystone Film Company. The address is 658 North Wilton Place. Is there anything else? No, thank you, ma'am. I got a bad found Jack here. He he's gonna find something and then Next thing too, he's gonna get fucking whacked. That was really bizarre. That that was kind of weird that he was that guy that I uh, got into a scuffle with decided to come back for round two, but he tries to kill me. But it's also weird that he actually went out of his way. Companies, so the company's using a studio for the fa for the wood, not using an actual like lumber mill or anything to get the finer stuff. Somebody's so they're cutting corners here. <sighs> Again, I got a bad feeling, Jack. He gets cr he's gonna get close to the truth, but then somebody's gonna whack him. It always ha it happens it happens a lot whenever somebody uncovers something that's like you know. Uncover some very bad stuff. Well, hey, this game's been definitely uh, been quite a hell of like, a good little package. Again, kind of surprised I actually missed out on this game when it first released uh, years ago. You know, after all these years, I'm surprised they didn't do a uh, what is it uh, a a sequel to LA New On, but then again, I don't think they could because it feels Hi, like Mac. I work for California Fire and Life. I'm looking into an industrial accident here. No, not here at a housing development over on Normandy Avenue. So I found some lumber over there, had the Keystone name printed on it. We've been closed since 41. 
never quite made the transition to talkies. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund are pulling the place down. Know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Nix. Mind if I take a look around? I'm kind of hungry. If someone was to leave a couple of bucks here, I might wander down the street and get a cup of coffee. Yeah. Is there a key to the gate? No. The only guys who go in or out are some delivery guys from Elysian Field. They're working on a housing development over at Wilton and Santa Monica. You'll have to hop it. Thank you. Eh, that's one way to buy them. So this place has been shut down for years. Been quote unquote shut down for years, but yet there's still still activities going on here. See what the rich and powerful have to say for themselves. Jack is a good guy. He's a not. <laughs> In a great day for the future of Los Angeles, civic leaders and businessmen joined forces to launch the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund pledges to speed up housing development for returning GI. Gentlemen, this is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He's our latest investor in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Uh, the doctor. This is Curtis Benson. He's vice president of the California Fire and Life. We're pleased to meet you, doctor. Ray Gordon, editor of the Times. Doctor. District attorney, Don Sandler, and police chief Warren. Gentlemen, I am delighted to be in such exalted company. You're making quite a name for yourself, doctor, amongst the thespian fraternity. I find that those of artistic temperament are often of a fragile mental disposition. It's a short step from miscreant to recidivism, Doctor. Very true. But I think we could all agree that the City of Angels does rather well basking in the reflection of the motion picture industry. Hear, hear. And it's something that every sucker getting off a train at Union Station wants a part of. Gentlemen, we're here to sell the American dream, and Hollywood is our greatest advertiser. So... Mm -hmm. How is your new development selling, Leland? You cannot throw them up fast enough, Ray. And that's part of the problem, Leland. Washington is receiving steady complaints. There's a clamor for public housing. God damn it, Ray. Public housing is tantamount to communism. Now, that's why we fought this goddamn war. I'm telling you, it's reds via the back door. You can't have it both ways, Leland. The new freeways are being built to service all your developments out in the boondocks. They're all being built with government money. The GI Bill is government money. There's a difference. What difference? Mm. The GI money ends up in my pocket. I hope you mean uh, our pockets, Leland. We're all investors. Of course, Curtis. So, when will the freeway bond be passed on? It still has to be ratified. It takes a long time to raise $3 billion. Hmm. I need to find a game well or a telephone. That's but there's some uh, twisted shit right there. It's all for this. It's all for the sake of profit. It's all for the sake of profit. All right, well, let's go to the telephone. Operator, so I think that's it. Through to police dispatch. Thanks. Jack Kelso, investigator for California Fire and Life. Can you put me through to Curtis Benson, please? Just a moment, please, Mr. Kelso. Jack, how can I help? Do you 
know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, Mr. Benson? I've heard of them, Jack. Building new homes for GIs. With green lumber that was used on movie sets. Jack, are you working the Buck Walter case? Mr. Benson, are you part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Jack, I want you to listen very clearly. Call Miss Lickman. Call her as soon as you hang up. Arrange to see her tonight and get her to agree to the settlement. Do it tonight. Do you hear me? Hmm. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. End of story, Jack. I don't want to hear another word about Elsa Lickman or Luke Buckwalter. Mm-hmm. Guilty. Can you put me through to Michigan 221? Michigan. Can I call through? Hello? Ms. Lichtman, it's Jack Kelso. Yes, Mr. Kelso. I've been looking into your case. Yes, and what have you found? It doesn't look good. I need to see you. Meet me at the blue room. I work there tonight. I take a break around nine. Okay. I'll be waiting at the stage door. You can talk then. Auf Wiedersehen, Mr. Kelso. Thank you. Hmm, okay. Go. Alright. This is a this is some co you know co co up the case at its finest. <laughs> hey Phil. Good to see you. Looks like Jack Kelso will be here too. All of it's coming together. What were you doing with him? I was doing what you asked. I didn't ask you to meet him in an alleyway. Why do you snarl at me? Your friend came to ask me to accept the insurance. He's not my friend, Elsa. I think he's a brave man, and you have placed him in great danger. You've involved him in something, and he has no idea of the risks. Can you live with that, Cole? Elsa, I need his help. He hates my guts. Forget the past, Cole. He deserves a chance to say no. If he helps you, let it be on his terms. I'll go see him in the morning. Hmm. No, it's time to investigate. On our own here. We're doing our own detective work here. Even though this will get us, even though this could get us killed. But we need to know, but we need nothing but the, we need more evidence and more truth. Wow, well, this is sound. This is time to set up. It sounds like we might be getting close. At least I got that feeling. Oh dear, it's good. Good to see ya. Whoops, I. Whoops, I about that. How you doing? How you doing, babe? You're all good. 
You're all, you're all good, my love. <sighs> Did it? Uh, what the grant? The granny? What the granny stream uh, today? It's going on over there to do this right. Oh yeah. Uh, I forgot. Hi. You forgot. You forgot what the name of the game he was, she was streaming. Okay. There was a newspaper I saw in here. Now did I? Oh, yep. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I can't open Twitch since I'm on YouTube. Okay. The film's gone. Real should be nearby. Film will should be close by then. We need to find it. Oh, wait, man. Whoops. I thought this was Phil. No, I said it's Jack. Okay, daddy. I missed something here. Is that why I'm back here? Because I might have forgotten something to grab. Anyway, somebody came here and took the film out. Okay. Okay, so we have no reason to be back here then. I don't know why it was on that list of things. I guess I just had to investigate that and then it automatically checked clicks it off. Was nearby. Was past tense. Okay, I guess we'll head off to our destination then. Uh, I think our boy Jack might be might be in some. I think he might be in some uh, trouble here though. Certainly, he's certainly he's gonna be sneaking around, poking his nose where it might not belong, but he has to get to the bottom of it. Something, Mac. I thought these private eye types were all wise guys with smug mouths. Looks like the snappy repartee has all dried up. Get on with it. What's your hurry, Mac? You got some place to go? 
You ever do the cat and mouse routine without a gun in your hand? Now that's more like it. Let's put a few gaps in that. Don't get impatient now. Time for you to lose some teeth. What about the No damn. Nice. One man army. Oh shit, he's getting out beat. Oh boy. You're a worn tough guy. You should learn to take a hint. Get him downstairs and into the trunk. Oh boy. Mob, mob guys. Sure, he turned up all right. He's wishing he didn't. He's in the trunk. He's going nowhere. The boys introduce themselves. <laughs> <clears throat> what do you want done with him, Mr. Monroe? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know a good place. I'll pick up a shovel and a pick on the way. It's up in the hills behind Griffith Park. We'll deal with that German bitch next. <laughs> Not too good at all. Okay, we gotta get the fuck out of here. What the hell? Sorry, pal. Desperate times. Monroe owns the city. Owns the cops. I need to find Elsa. Shit, now we're... Shit, now we're the ones, you know, on the one. We've been the one... We've been doing a lot of the chasing around for a while. Boy, Jack is in shit now. He's got things are get things are getting bad. Manuel want Manuel wants wants somebody wants these guys to be silent. Jack. Mm. 
Heel pers. So you're still carrying that army 45, Cole. Hmm. That's it. So in that case. Right now what? Satchel charges on the cave entrance from above. Covering fire on weapons team. Look for snipers in the trees. You know the drill. No risks, no heroes, no prisoners. You want some roast on this one, Sarge? No, you guys have done enough. Head back to Wes. We are going to blow every cave we come across. Close them down and move on, people. Damn. I was hoping to get me a samurai sword. Skipper says that Phelps has fallen behind again. He's got his fire team's checking every cave. He's lost another flamethrower. He wants you to get over there and hurry them along. Hogaboom, weapons company. Sir, sir. We have a major cave complex in front of us, Hogaboom. I want flamethrowers and BAR teams to clean it out. Begging your pardon, sir. But if it's a big complex, why don't we bring the Shermans in? They could pour it in there. We can't wait for tanks to be brought up. I'm already behind. Then blow the cave. No skin off our nose. Bury them. We in are there. going in there and clearing them out. We are doing it by the numbers, Sergeant. Get your team in place. We're moving out. <clears throat> Mount up! First fire team and flamethrowers! Head in! Mm -hmm. Burn the trees! Where's he going? Where's who going? The big cowboy! He's going in. Who gave that order? You did. Hmm. We're seeing all these for a reason. A police intervention. Invitation. You happen you happen to be a lucky one to be a still alive, uh Jack. Things could have gotten pretty bad. Well, Miss Lichtman. How long have you been sitting there? <clears throat> Not long, Mr. Kelso. You look lovely, Princess. Hmm? You haven't exactly caught me at my best. It's okay, Miss Lichtman. I'm a big boy. I know how to take my licks. Please, call me Elsa. Okay, Elsa. What can I do for you? I'd like to explain because I... I can join the dots, Elsa. Cole needs your help, Jack. The police department have frozen him out. Look, you're obviously a brave lady, but you can't fight all Cole's battles for him. I just wanted to apologize for... You don't have to apologize. You were right about Elysian Fields. Tell me something. What was Lou Buckwalter's regular job? He was a carpenter. Hmm. He built sets for RKO, Warner Brothers. Set carpenter? Warner Brothers. Perfect. If you don't mind, Elsa, I'd like to get a little rest now. I've got a lot more dots to join, and it's making my head hurt. That's perfectly understandable, Mr. Jack. I hope we can meet again under less dramatic circumstances. I hope so too, Princess. I'd like that. Mm hmm. Are you Kelso? Who's asking? Peterson, Assistant DA. You're in the wrong building, Peterson. This is a hospital. <laughs> a wise guy. Let me tell you a story, Kelso. Can I get the abridged version? My head hurts. 
You're a funny guy, Jack. What do you want, Peterson? A colorful character mentioned your name. He said that you might know something about... There's a problem with colorful characters, Peterson. First they send you over a drink, then they buy you dinner, then you get a phone call in the middle of the night for a favor. Try rubbing shoulders with some solid citizens. They're the ones you're supposed to protect. You finished, Kelso? For the moment. I'm going to run for DA, Kelso. The current administration stinks. And you want me to help? I'm looking for a DA's investigator. You get a gun and a badge and $120 a month. I get $150 a month now. I'm going after the vice squad, Kelso. It's going to get me elected. I've got something better. Hmm. How about Leland Monroe? The property developer? Do you think I fell down the stairs? Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Forget the yeah, forget about the vice. Those guys no not but then. Compared to William and Mo, oh, that's a big name. That's a big name right there after all. Alright, so we're all dressed up. Man, this is what hospitals used to look like back in the day. So different. Thanks for the patch up, Princess. Might be the only R and R I get for some time. Let's investigate this freaking garage. Drama. Drama. Jack almost got killed. Almost got killed last night, but we but he managed to escape. But now. Now this guy shows up. Alright, now we're gonna head off. And I don't wanna drop and I don't actually wanna do the whole driving bit, so we're just gonna hold E and just uh, skip right to that area we need to go. We have to do some investigation of our own. Well, that's one hell of a one hell of an apartment building. Room two. Okay. So room two. Knock knock. Remember me? Jack. It's good to see you. You've caught me at a slightly inopportune moment. Can we do this some other time? Back off, Curtis. Move away from the door. Yeah. Jack, there's no call for that. Yeah, really. Hmm. Smooth, Curtis. I'll give you that. You try to get me killed, and you still manage to be polite about it. Jack, how could you accuse me of having anything to do with that? I want to know all about you and Monroe, Curtis. You give it up, or I beat it out of you. Get the fuck out of here, Jack. You're fired. Yeah. Who do you think you are? Get out of town now while you still have the chance. You have no idea what kind of forces you're dealing with here. I guess we've exhausted the passive options. <clears throat> Sit tight, Curtis. I'm taking a look around. Yeah. You've never been swept before, have you? Hmm? He's like, he hit me. I, I've been backhanded. He's like, he's so dumb swept. He's like, wow. Nobody ever hit me. Even I told them to fire. Damn. I'm fucking upset. I feel attack. Okay. Huh. What exactly do you expect to find, Jack? Uh huh. Looks like he had a mistress over, looks like. Due to the red lipstick uh, mark on the glass. Again. 
Even though he could just simply run out of this building and everything, but he's just staying absolutely, uh... Staying absolutely still. Get all of the stockholders. I need to follow the paper trail. Jack, you've made a terrible mistake. Get out while you can. Yeah, it's a little too late, buddy. Too late, considering the fact that he tried to whack me. That something tells me they're not gonna let me even get out of town. The hunt, they'll probably hunt Jack down until the end of his uh. uh. I knew you were in bed with the Legion, Curtis. Now I know why. Mhm. Mm it's always about profit. What exactly do you expect to find, Jack? Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Jack, you've made a terrible mistake. Get out while you can. Oh, uh, okay, hold on. I see some double doors. Oh. How old are you, princess? Sixteen. Oh. Mr. Oh, God. How old are you, really? Oh. Nearly thirteen. Oh! Oh! God, no! No! You take love where you can find it as you get old. Love? Oh. That has nothing to do with love, Curtis. That's... I find your romantic notions endearing. I find them very tiring. Oh my god. You're finished, Curtis. Sick fuck. That remains to be seen, Jack. Uh. I told you about my new job, Curtis. DA's investigator. Who do you think the DA reports to, Jack? Yeah, that's about, yeah, about that. We're gonna change that. Keep dressed, you're getting out of here. He's not so bad. He just lays on top of me and grunts for a few minutes. No, <laughs> shut up. And he buys me nice things. Get dressed, you're leaving. Oh my god, that's so sick. That's disgusting, dude. She will only come back. Fucking kill you. Can I put a bullet Can I put a bullet in this fucker right now? Ah, oh, that's It's making me sick. It's making me sick all over my body right there. It's like fucking criminy. Fuck. Then again, it's not surprising people like him that, you know, want to go target for somebody more younger. Say, under the age of 15, under the age of 10, you know, probably 13, they will probably go lower than that, the sick fuck. <sighs> fuck you now. I want answers, Curtis. So pay attention. Please, Jack. I'm not a violent man. Bull fucking shit. I don't get it, Curtis. You're vice president of the company. Why take the risk? It's a simple business transaction, dear boy. Dear boy? You're lying, Curtis. Something happened at the company, didn't it? That's why you took the bribe. Bribe? What bribe? How can you accuse me of benefiting ahead of the company? It's called, it's called having a sure certificate, buddy. I noticed that the share certificates are in your name, Curtis, not the company's. What did you use as collateral? Yeah. Those sons of bitches in Sacramento. They passed me over for president. Sent me here because they believed it was a backwater. But they were wrong. Los Angeles will become the capital of the West, not San Francisco. This place will be the city of the 20th century. And I'm gonna get my cut, Jack. You're going to jail, Curtis. You and your cronies. S we'll see about that, Jack. <sighs> Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. <clears throat> You're talking about the future of Los Angeles. You cannot interfere with these plans. Information, Curtis. Business people who have joined forces to meet the demand for new homes. Bullshit. You're lying, Curtis. They're going to burn those movie sets they call houses, and you're carrying the insurance on them. And how do you prove that, Jack? 
Yeah, it's called an insurance agreement, dummy. You free Rancho Escondido burnt to the ground. California Fire and Life is carrying the paper. Jack, the best result you could get from insurance would be replacement cost. The stakes are much, much higher. Mm-hmm. Sure. Why the big payoff in the Buckwalter case? It was bound to bring it to attention. Who could have predicted this particular confluence of events? Elsa Lichtman as the beneficiary who spurns the cash. The brilliant but flawed detective becoming her lover. And you, Jack, taking their bait. You buy green lumber and use it to build houses. <clears throat> How do you expect it to end? Mr. Monroe has a fine reputation for building houses. What would I know about his choice of building materials? Doubt that. I doubt that. Give fucking... me what I need or I'll beat it out of you. <laughs> it's all there in the case file. If you know what to look for. Very neat, Curtis. Maybe I can't work it out, but Phelps can. He may be many things, but he is one of the best detectives the LAPD has ever had. Your card is marked, Jack. You'll have an unfortunate accident if you don't leave town. Your California isn't the same as mine, Mr. Benson. Not at all. Ugh, God again. I would just would I would just shoot him. I would just shoot the son of a bitch, to be honest. Ugh. Like I don't uh, like yeah that, but the fact that what I just walked in, what my character just walked on, walked into, I'm like, oh sweet Jesus, my eyes are hurting now. Ugh, sweet Jesus, but fifteen? You think you're going that fucking? You 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 went that? You're going that well? Fucking crime, any man. Ugh, again, what I what do I feel about? You know. You know, you know, sex predators and pedophiles, especially pedophiles. Uh, yeah, they they should just get the uh, they should just get the chair. Or any or any sort of you know execution really. Yep. Again, that's just my when it comes to those people. Yeah, I don't think they deserve a second chance at life at all. I don't give a shit. It's just a sickening man. Oh, fucking hell. Thank god she was fucking- Thank god she was cover up. That would have been even more fucking awkward. It's like, ugh. Ugh, it'd be so uncomfortable. My lord. Again, wish I could just shoot the guy. It's like, it's like, oop, oh, okay. Okay, I get it. Oh, wait a minute, can we put a bullet in his brain? Throw it out. It's okay. Who needs him? This world doesn't need him. No way would miss him anyway. Fuck out of my way, people. I got I got detective look, dude. I don't want you. I'm calm down now. Just let me. I'm calm down now. Oy. No way. California fire. Fire in my. Oy. Now we gotta go investigate. Investigate the office. I'm just going up to my office, Barty. Got to check over some files. Take the elevator. First door on the right when you come out. You know the way, Kelso. You know the way, Kelso. Going to the Mocambo this Friday? Not really going. Oh wait, his office is actually down here. What am I doing? I'm going the wrong. What? What? Oh, bro! So, Curtis, what is it you don't want me to see? I'm going to memorize your name and 
going on another way. I knew that bunch of shit go on here in the middle. Insured <clears throat> replacement value for the house is nine hundred dollars. Current value of the house and land is thirty five hundred. Christ, how many of these dumps are we carrying on the books? Damn. Basically, I just need to keep tapping. There's got to be more in these files. Uh, I'll be probably in the stream, probably ap in the stream after this after this case here. Thirty-four degrees, four minutes, twenty-nine seconds north. One hundred eighteen degrees, seventeen minutes, fifty-eight seconds west. I have a Detective Phelps of the LAPD here to see you. Well, well. Hey, Phelps. Have a seat, Cole. Where's the go-between? She's awful easy on the eye for a foreign girl. Does that private dick powder actually work on anyone, Kelso? It's not your style. You were always a little more direct. This is your dime, officer. Would you help me if I asked, Jack? A little chuck on the shoulder. Job is simplified. Fuck you, Cole. Be a man. Why send a woman to do your dirty work? You're a cop. Why do you want my help? I thought a PI might be a little more discreet. I'm no gumshoe. I used to be an investigator for this company before your investigation got me fired. Sorry to hear that, Jack. I'm sorry about a lot of things. Is that an apology, Cole? It's a feeble attempt at one, yes. Look, Jack, it's a murder case, and I need help to solve it. So what's it got to do with Elysian Fields developments? They're in it somehow. The flyers keep turning up whenever I find a domestic <coughs> fire. Mm-hmm. They're boosters. Stiffing GIs for deposits, making them wait months for a throw-up house. They're already making more money than they can count. What's turned them into killers? So you believe me? Yeah. This is why you dragged me into the Buckwalter case. Look, Jack, I'm sorry. But if not for me, do it for some of the poor saps who are dying. Or some of the leathernecks who are getting grifted. How about it, Jack? I know you, Cole. You're still beating yourself <clears throat> up over that medal on Sugarloaf. The medal you think you didn't deserve, but you just don't get it. Mm. Nobody deserves a medal. It's just the ridiculous situation you find yourself in and how you react to it. You think you failed up on that hill. But courage isn't a tap you could turn on or off. Courage isn't permanent. It's a tenuous and fickle thing. Courage and cowardice exist in every man. Get over it. You got it off your chest. I guess I have. Will you help me, Jack? I'm thinking about it. Hmm. The Hall of Records is the place to start. Alright. Hall of Records. That's where we're going. Hmm. We're back at the so Jack Castle. Hmm, okay. Remember being here the last time when we were as, uh, as Cole, when the Shin and we were, was, uh, where Hello we... There. You need some help there, sir? The Land Registry Office. Where is it? Just up the stairs. Thanks. Thank you. Off we go. Alright, there's the office. I'd like to see the company details of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Certainly, sir. Just this way. Just like that, we can just uh, casual. We can casually look at all these records. Thank you. All those suburban sons of bitches ought to be listed in here. Hmm. Just need to look for the certain names. Hmm. 
Mm, nope. Oh, I see what I'm doing. I don't know if I'm looking at. Sh I think I'm looking for shareholders. Yeah, I think um, I think I'm looking for shareholder names, not company names. Let's see. Nope. I'm just gonna keep tapping. Hmm. Let's look for the names next. If there's a name that I recognize or remember. No names there. <clears throat> Wait, can I turn the pages? Oh, yes, I can. Okay, we can turn the pages. Wait a minute, that's a name right there. That's a name I recognize. Courtney. Sake, what's he got to do with this? I'd like information on a plot of land. Okay, do you have the address? Not exactly. It's a new lot. I have the coordinates 34 degrees, 4 minutes, 29 seconds north, 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. All right, that makes it a bit more difficult. Come with me. Yep. I believe that is in the Wilshire area. Here. Thirty-four degrees, four minutes, twenty-nine seconds north. One hundred and eighteen degrees, seventeen minutes, fifty-eight seconds west. Need to remember the crew. It was three four point four point two nine latitude, and I'm looking for one one eight point one seven point five eight on the longitudinal axis. Nope. That. Four degrees, four minutes, twenty nine seconds north, one hundred and eighteen degrees, seventeen minutes, fifty eight seconds west. Yes. The lot numbers one eight seven six nine eight eight. Unfortunately, that is just the beginning. We have at least a million lot numbers in the Los Angeles area. Registrations <clears throat> are in alphabetical order. You need to convert your lot number to a letter. Mm. How do I do that? Over here, use this adding machine. There are 90,000 entries to a book. So divide your lot number by 90,000. Oh boy. 1876988. Divided by. 90,000, yes. Okay. I just forgot those numbers. There was a lot of numbers there. We have to divide that. 
Come on, say the numbers again. I kind of forgot the rest of the numbers. One million eight hundred seventy six thousand nine hundred and eighty eight divided by ninety thousand. Damn it. One hundred and eighty eight eighty one hundred and eighty thousand. One eight seven six nine eight eight. Okay. Divided by ninety thousand, yes. Six Nine. Ninety-eight, eight, eight. Did he say? One million eight hundred seventy-six thousand oh. nine hundred eighty-eight divided by. Oh come on! I did points. not. I did not mean to do that. Dun 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 dun. And then we have to divide the numbers. Ninety thousand. One eight seven six nine eight eight divided by ninety thousand. Yes. Okay. Twenty. Twenty. A starts at zero, so you want to add one to your number. Twenty-one. That number is your letter of the alphabet. Once you have the letter, find the right aisle. You are in business. Twenty. So twenty. You do this every day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Twenty-one. Okay. Oh God. Big brain. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Oh, that could be anywhere. It could be any of these white goods, so we need to keep looking. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see what the side is worth today. Hmm. One eight seven six nine eight eight. One eight seven six nine eight eight. Wait, that was the white book. It was the white thing. Oh, okay. One eight seven six nine eight eight. Book value is three fifty. With the new home in place, the improved value of the property is thirty five hundred. They can make a killing. But how do they pull it off? Well, do they pull it off indeed? Oh shit. Oh, we got some lights. You know why I plumped for the caddy? The extra trunk space. One thing you learn in the war, boys. You do your talking once the smoke clears. Bitch. Come at me with that. Don't come at me with that, uh, shit. I need a word, Courtney. That's okay, Jack. 
Y you didn't need to come all the way down It's here. important, Courtney. How can I help? Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. What are you talking about? Don't fuck with me, Courtney! Jack, I swear, I don't know what you're talking about. How does your name appear as one of the investors in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? You're out of your mind. I was down at the Hall of Records checking on a property company called Elysian Fields Developments. Their funding comes from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Seriously, Jack, I have no idea. Hmm. Your name is there, Courtney, with some pretty interesting company. The mayor, the district attorney, some dirty cops, and your buddy, Dr. Harlan Fontaine. Dr. Fontaine? Spill it, Courtney. I want all of it. Fontaine and the rest. Yep, come on. Fontaine took the morphine off our hands. Look, Jack, I know you said to get rid of it, but it's okay. I did something good for once. He reinvested the money for once. That's it. Hmm. That's what's happening. Is it, though? They're building houses for GIs, Jack. I turned a mistake into something beneficial. Something that's going to help out the guys. Courtney, they're building matchstick houses. They're going to burn them for the insurance money. They'll probably stiff the poor bastards for the deposits. Please, Jack. Say it isn't so. No, oh, Courtney, you... Harlan's a doctor. A good one. He helps out a lot of people. Looks like he's helping himself, Courtney. You're the fall guy. Mm-mm-mm. Courtney, Courtney. Something tells me I'm getting a phone call from somebody that might not like me. Jack Kelso. Who's asking? Leland Monroe. I was wondering when you'd get around to calling. I'd like to meet with you, Mr. Kelso. I bet you would, Mr. Monroe. But I value my skin highly enough to not want to meet with you. Why don't you just send some more of your boys around and we'll have a nice cup of tea. You realize that I could make you a very wealthy man, Mr. Kelso. Better than $220 a month? You're a very witty man, Kelso. Substantially better. I'm going to have to let it slide, Mr. Monroe. Are you haggling with me, Jack? I might be. Come around to my place at 9. 5164 Santa Monica Boulevard. Mm -hmm. You'll come? I might. With a gun. Good night, Mr. Monroe. It's gotta be a trap, obviously, but I think Jack Kelso personally knows. We're going right to that mansion. Even though it might be a trap, but I think we're going out. We're going to be going for. We're going to be in for a fight. Appreciate the help, all of you. We can reminisce later. I want a minimum of noise and no prisoners. No prisoners? This isn't Pele Lu, Jack. These guys are grifting GIs. That's what they do for a living. It's okay, Jack. We all feel the same way. It just hasn't turned out quite the way we imagined. Let's get it done. Teams of two at the ready. Uh, all right. It's going down.
Ooh, I actually got him from there. I'll say this probably, this probably had to be most uh most intensive uh this probably had to be the most intense uh, gunfight we have here in this game so far now. So anyway, we're infiltrate we're basically infiltrating somebody's uh, mansion. It's it feels like uh reminds me of Scarface. All right, man, hold the okay there. I got personal business with Mr. Leland Monroe. Okay. I'll, talk to you. I'll be talking I'll be talking to you soon, dear. Love you and thank you. Hmm. Oh. Mm hmm. You're a very sweet looking girl to be holding such a big gun. I know how to use it, mister. I'm sure you do. So how about pointing it over there in the direction of Hollywood instead of at me, princess? You're quite the wise guy. I don't normally shoot women, princess. How about putting the cannon down? Ah! <sighs> Bam. Well, you won't shoot him. But you're not Kawaii out. I didn't think you had the guts, sweetheart. I was never very good at reading women. It's Monroe! Where are you, damn it? Die that bitch. Yeah, this feels like fucking. You want me? You got me. Shot you in your elbow. So that's my opening negotiating position. Who oh, you crazy son of a bitch? How did you get in here? I'm bleeding to death. Get me a doctor. I thought I had an invitation, Monroe. Your boys outside were certainly expecting me. Mm-hmm. That's my second <laughs> offer. You sadistic bastard. <clears throat> What do you want? I'm going to take a look around, Monroe. Then I want you to tell me what you know about the mayor and those Trojan houses that you're building. 
Cap. What were you gonna? What were you digging into your safe? That's a hell of a payroll. Uh huh. Quite a bit payroll. I'm guessing Vincent's portfolio is only a fraction the size of yours, Monroe. Mm-hmm. Smart. Keep the dirt on Fontaine under lock and key. This is your insurance. Mm-hmm. What else are you? What else do you have here? Ah. It's like a list of names. Some sold up. The others obviously didn't know the links these sons of bitches would go to. Nope. Oh. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Remind me what they say about absolute power, Monroe. <laughs> Fuck you, Jack. Ah, call me an ambulance already. Mm, not yet. Don't wanna. Well, let's take a look at this. Dr. Fontaine, I need to speak with you urgently. Sit down, please sit down. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. It's the fund we are using to channel money into the development of new houses. Why is my name on the board of managers? Technically, you are a major contributor. Please call me. Those houses are a sham, Doc. They're going to be burned for the insurance. That's a scandalous allegation, Corey. Do you have any proof? Jack Kelso, an investigator for California Fire and Life, has seen him. He was almost killed when he found out what was going on. Hmm. I don't know what to say. I feel that I have been duped. Who do you think is behind this subterfuge? Jack says it's a property developer named Monroe. He said it was all the way to the mayor. Oh, no. You cannot have believed that I was involved. I don't know what to believe anymore, Doctor. I hope that you weren't involved. Thank you for your trust. Good boy. Shit. You still caught me. <laughs> all your troubles are finally over. He killed him. Let them go. I knew this doctor was bad. I had a bad feeling that this doctor was kind of an odd character. Fifty ways. It's unfortunate, and we know what happened to him. It can't be stopped, Council. There's too much money at stake. Kingdoms rise and kingdoms fall, Monroe. Ask the Emperor of Japan. Have some fucking mercy! Operator, put me through to Phelps, arson squad. Yeah, Biggs, it's Jack. I'm at Monroe's. He's in a talkative mood. If you get here in a hurry, you might get something before he bleeds to death. <coughs> Elsa. Oh, thank God. Where? Fontaine. Dead? Home of patients. So that crazy son of a bitch finally came back for a checkup. It's Monroe. He's raving. You want information, cocksucker. You get me some medical help. I've got to go, Herschel. Monroe's negotiating again. Do you want my final offer, Leland? Tell me how I find the guy who has Elsa. Not Casey. He did whatever Fontaine asked. He had some kind of power over him. He, he, he did all the fires and a then he went off Monroe. the rails. Yeah. I don't have a fucking name. He worked as a bug sprayer. 
Mm-hmm. Get me a goddamn doctor. Well, well, well. That was... That's one hell of a way. Alright. Oh, let's play this cutscene here and everything, and then uh, I'm gonna be upset. I'm about to wrap this up, sadly. Hey, news from Jack. There's a statewide APB out on it. Jack's okay. He has something up his sleeve. He's not worried about being caught. How do we help? We go after the other side of the equation. Jack has a lesion and its cronies running scared. We go after the doctor and some of the other guys. But the whole department believes we got our necks. It's time for action, Herschel. It's time for change. Jack's crossed the Rubicon and we have to be on the other side ready to help him. Christ, what was that? An explosion. Something big. You think it's the Reds? You think those rusty sons of bitches that dropped the H-bomb on us? Calm down, Herschel. We need to be ready for the call. I'm not waiting for an invitation. Get in the car and head for the cloud. KGPL can give us the details on the way. Alright, hey, Bob. As much, as much as I want to check that out and all, but uh, it's gonna have to be, we're gonna have to wrap that up then. And save it for the, and save that for the next time. What a way to end that. A big giant mushroom cloud size, uh, just, uh, drop down. <sighs> But, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that's gonna be it for tonight's, uh, for tonight's, uh, stream. I'd like to thank for everyone that did come out to watch, and, again, I'd like to wish for everyone that, you know, a good, happy Easter. So, uh, I'll be back, uh, Friday to do a, no do another stream. Uh, not sure if I'll, yeah, continue my playthrough session of LA Noir again, or something else. So, be on the lookout for that for this Friday. Uh, might be uh, it might be either over on Twitch or YouTube again. I'm not sure yet. So, if you want to support me on both platforms, uh, again, if you happen to like what you saw, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and if you want to go check out my Twitch channel, I appreciate that very much as well. And also, I have social media platforms so you can follow up on if you want to be notified. If you want to be notified when I go live and all that good stuff. So, <clears throat> there's has been a G money G money woman here. And until then, bail out everyone. <laughs>